so let's get into another attempt here of trying to complete Horizon Zero Dawn to 100% completion without any fast travel. AKA 100% speedrun without fast travel, speedrun, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but you guys get the gift. Ugh, we've done so many attempts of this now, I don't even know what to say in the intro anymore. But essentially, we're gonna be completing Horizon Zero Dawn. Ugh, can't even speak now. Horizon Zero Dawn 100% with the Frozen Wilds included, of course. And we're not allowed to fast travel in the run. There are a few other rules, but I'll explain most of it as we go through the childhood section here. So let's get started in three, two, one, go. Some kind of. So uh, after that scuffed intro, we're finally on our way. <laughs> looks tight, but I can get through. Let's get the run going. This must be so yeah, like I said, goal of this run to get 100% both main game and DLC. And we're not allowed to fast travel. There's basically two other rules as well, which is I'm not allowed to restart from save and do any intentional deaths. That is because there are multiple places throughout the run where you can abuse, basically abuse the checkpoint system by either restarting from save or dying intentionally, because effectively that works the same, because it places you at your last checkpoint. And uh, I'll point out some of the parts on the run here early on where that could be abused when we get to it but uh, the reason why I don't allow that in this no fast roll run is even though there are some cool strats where you can abuse it it kind of feels like it goes against the nature of what this run is trying to do uh, because you are effectively just fast rolling just not doing actual fast roll if you know what I mean so uh, yeah but uh, I'll try to point out some of the spots on the run here and you're on where it could be abused and explain why I decided not to use it in runs. But uh, those are the basic rules of the run. And uh, let's see if we can get a good run today. I've been doing a couple of attempts these last couple of days, but... Uh, well, some runs have died to technical difficulties and some of the other runs have died to me messing up the strategies. But uh, today will be different. Today will be the day we get the run this, so let's go get it, shall we? Let's go get that good run. See this plant over here? It's called South Bush. Come on, get good. Now eat the berries. They may taste bitter. They could save your life. So also, I like to always tell this story at the beginning of the run, because uh, people always ask, what made you do this kind of run, or what was the idea behind this run? Since, uh, uh, since it's uh, obviously a very uh, interesting challenge, I guess. I don't know what, how to describe it. But essentially how this run came to be was... Um, Back in the fall of 20, uh, 2021, when, uh, you know, it was about a half a year until Forbidden West came out, I was doing some 100% uh, runs trying to get sub-7 hours and 100% on story difficulties. And on one of those runs that I uploaded to YouTube, uh, I got a silly comment basically saying that that fast travel shouldn't be allowed in speedruns and it's effectively cheating. Now, obviously... That's whatever person's opinion is, but obviously that's the same comment because fast traveling is a part of the game and literally a main feature of the game, you could even argue. So not allowing it in speedruns would be silly. But obviously that got me thinking, well, how long would it take me to beat the game if I couldn't fast travel? So that kind of spawned that idea and I obviously shared it on stream. And I think I initially said I would eventually do the run just kind of blind because I don't know, it would take a lot of time and effort to create a route for it. That's the line. Um, so on. I think I initially just said I wanted to do... I just announced that I wanted to do it blindly. Uh, but then uh, Astral, who is in chat today, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> did well. Uh, who also helped out with a lot of the strategies for the regular 100% run. Basically decided to just sit down and actually go through and route the entire run without any fast traveling. And put uh, all the time and effort into it. Come now. Let's find so, that uh, Follow. that is the route I am mainly using in the runs now to complete this. So, shout out to Astral for making that route. 
Uh, there have been a few changes to the route, but the main part of the portion of the run was developed by him, so I wanted to shout him out. Now, like I said, that was back before Forbidden West came out, so why did it take this long to get around to doing these runs? Run away. Uh, well, the effectively, around the same time, me and worry. Everyday Aussie, a fellow we'll Horizon Zero Dawn speedrunner, uh, started battling for world records in New Game Plus now, Ultra Hot. I want you to find some and, uh, that fit the cup of your hand. and that was a lot what? of fun, because we Do battled in both the main game and the, the DLC works. all the way leading so up we'll to Forbidden you. West coming out. Those will so that was like super follow. hype and changing world records back and forth. So. Uh, so that obviously took up all my time leading up to Forbidden West, so I never ended up doing it. And then of course when Forbidden West came out, that became like the main focus in terms of Horizon stuff I did for basically a year and a half until, well, here we are now. Where uh, I'm back to doing some Zero Dawn stuff before Forbidden West comes out on PC and now I thought it was the time to do it. So that's why it has taken this long to get around to doing this run, but... Now, let's try and see if we can get a really good run, because we have a good round, we have a lot of good strategies. Harvest the kill so, I can use the so uh, no excuse not to get a good run, and if the run goes really well, which I hope it will today, and uh, hopefully no mistakes or shenanigans this time around, then uh, hopefully we'll get a sub-9 hour run today. Because I'll try my best. You did well, sir. But you have I don't like how the last two days Tomorrow, has been a bit of a choke on my end. What was that? That boy. Uh, anyway, Padman, thanks for the 33 month freeze up. Follow really appreciate it. Quick. Thanks for the uh, continued support. And really hope you're doing well. So, yeah, we got a long run ahead of us. So, time to sit back, relax, get comfy, get some snacks, get something to drink if you're watching the entire thing. Or maybe I'm just gonna be your background noise for the day. But regardless, hope you enjoyed the run. And, uh, like I said. Let's get that really good run. If it goes really well, we'll get that sub nine. Hello, everybody else tuning into the stream as well. Hope you all are doing great. Almost there. There he is. Starting off the run with the gold. Love to see it. Let's keep that up. <laughs> we go again indeed, sub greedy. And everybody else tuning in. He said we go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? Speaking of, since Greedy is here, did you enjoy the What's state doing? of play yesterday for Reaper? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Hey, no, but I would you? Of course. There could have dissent. Once. Yeah. Okay. Hey, stop. That. Something's really wrong. Yes. Nice. Sounds good. Demo tonight? Oh, are you streaming the demo? Cool. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Before it came a bit out of nowhere. The embrace. But we got almost all the meat we need. That was good. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was, and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a hurry. But yeah, the last couple of days, as I said, I've had some good runs that all had good potential. And all have died for sad reasons. And the last, especially the last two days, has been a bit of a choke on my end from forgetting you stuff. And uh, one of the big issues in this run is if you forget something in the route, and there's obviously a lot of things to remember when you're doing 100%, the problem is um, 
problem is you can't just fast travel to the spot where you've forgotten. You have to actually walk there. So in most cases, if you forget something in the rock, you are gonna lose all your time and the run just dies. So goal of today will not only be to play well, obviously, but also the true main focus will be to make absolutely 100% sure we don't forget to do a single thing in the run. So let's see how it goes. Who I have? I don't. I guess my brother. I'll do it. I'm. Is that it? Get down, Eloy, please. Just don't make mistakes. Exactly. Just don't make any mistakes, and it's simple like that. Going. Okay, Grata said her prayer beads were at the eastern overlook. It's not so right here is uh, one of the examples I can use to describe why I don't allow um, restart from saves in this run. So uh, we're going over the mountain here now to uh, grab that uh, metal flower that's on the other side here. And it turns out in this game, when you pick up any collectible and a few other things, but predominantly collectibles, the game creates a checkpoint and basically saves that you picked up the collectible. So even if you die or restart from save, you will still have picked it up. However, it doesn't create a new spawn point like other checkpoints do. So I could, in theory, pick up this metal flower and then restart from save, which would put me all the way back to where we just talked to Grada, because that would be my last save point at this point. Because uh, that, that was when I uh, started the Grada quest. And, um... And, uh, you can kind of see how that could be abused to effectively fast travel without fast traveling. And, like I said, there are some cool strats throughout the run, if we did allow it, where we could use it to save a lot of time. But, in a no fast travel run like this, it kind of feels like it defeats the purpose and goes against the spirit of what this run is trying to do. So that's why I don't allow restart from saves or any intentional deaths to abuse the checkpoints. So uh, that is why that is a rule. So that is just one example, but you can imagine how many of those throughout the entire game if you truly planned on abusing it a lot. Like just how much time you could save from it. save a lot of time but it would effectively just be the same as fast traveling so yeah so no restart from saves whose knife is this looks like more blood leading away from here so pressure what do you mean the alpine livery is bad it's the coolest livery lawn so far jesus christ you need glasses there a bucket the trail of blood ends here but whoever left it must have also left it. Well, I guess we disagree on that, because my god, it looks bad. Like, they forgot to paint half the car. Alpine have such cool team colors, and they were just like, yeah, let's not use them. At least their hyper car looks good, I guess. I guess we're just gonna disagree on that. But I guess half the grid this year is just gonna be black cars. That sounds like fun. It's gonna be really fun to tell them apart when we watch the races. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. It's the best livery this decade. Get out of here. Yikes. You guys have simply poor taste. This old place. I haven't been here in years. Wonder what I can find. Uh, 
you do realize the pink livery they showed is only gonna be used for two races like yesterday. Oh, I li not like yesterday, like last year. That area back there. I wonder if I can find a way into it. Some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. Like the one I'm mainly talking about is the blue one. There's a ton of pink on the normal. If you call that a ton of pink, get no. You're not allowed to say that. Get out of here. You're wrong. That is simply objectively false. <laughs> that there's a ton of it on it. Well, you're not ordinary. But oh well, I guess we'll choose to disagree on this. <laughs> By the way, the ruins here is another place where you could restart from save after the collectibles. Because uh, the game would save both the power cell and the middle flower here. And if you restart from save, it places you outside. But of course, again, just not really what this run is trying to achieve. So we're not doing that. Hey, Mandura. Looks like it was a watcher. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. That must be Alana. Sounds Are we like gonna get the watcher hot early today? That'd be nice. From these watchers, I guess. Think, think, you're five. You will go for. Oh. Need to watch out so we can get the Shadow Hunter bow early. I mean, it's just technically one thing. If we get it early, it's only oh, one thing that will be different in this run, which is the great run hunting ground. <sighs> But that hunting ground is also just a lot easier with the Shadow Hunter bow. So okay. from the cache. Why would they take them? They just so them I would really prefer if um, <laughs> I'd really prefer if we could. Um, if you don't promise, I'll jump. Get that, get that watch out before date's hour today. Because in the last two runs, we have not gotten it. Yeah. It's I not like help. there's plenty of watchers I'm to back. kill. Do you? There's we just need a little bit of luck on the side for it. Yes. Bro. There's you. Thank. So Millie, how are you doing? I mean, it doesn't change my opinion. I still feel like that livery is bad. To me, so far, that's the worst livery. That has been shown. Trail ends here. I'll stand by. Must be where she saw the scrapper. Her Compared to how good the Alpine cars looked the last couple of years, it's an absolute Mother's crime coming. that it looks like that now. My God, they've had some beautiful cars the last three years. So perhaps there's a little bit of disappointment that is swaying my opinion here. But... Trail ends here. Oh, well. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. What's up, Frank? Hope you're doing well. Sorry for the little F1 rant here at the beginning, but uh, just gonna let Frasher know his opinion is wrong. And I've just I've studied design in school, so I feel like my opinion matters more. <laughs> there. I'm gonna pull that card off. Card off to. Uh, to cement my position here. A well made weapon. A lot of the ah. 
It doesn't matter if all the cars are blue, black. You'll still be able to tell which one is Max. Yeah, the one that's driving faster, you mean? <laughs> no one else around. Looks safe to me. <laughs> My guess is he'll be... There he is. Looks nervous. What? Surpre Careful. Top. Last... Night. Oh. I'll... Have it you. My life. <laughs> Basically, the car they never show on TV because he's so far ahead, there's no reason to film him. Except for when he crosses the line. Let's drop in the wrong spot here. <laughs> no worries, Frank. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks again for the tier 3 yesterday. Really appreciate it. I feel like, uh,. <laughs> you did it while I was, uh, while I was in the really bad mood after choking the run, so. Well, like I didn't say thanks, probably, but, uh, just know that I really appreciate it. Whatever they're hunting out there doesn't sound easy. Good idea. That carcass. What sort of beast was that? Uh, there's a way to eject the disc if your disc tray is stuck, uh, Millie. It's a little hard to explain while being live, but there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube how to get a disc out if the disc tray is stuck from uh, PlayStation consoles. If you just do a quick YouTube search, you will be able to see it. As long as you have a small screwdriver, you should be able to do it. And it doesn't damage the console at all. I've had to do that before on PS4. Will I keep eating them like this? Uh, depends. That depends. It could just be a one-time stuck, which it probably is most of the in most cases. But it, if the distray is completely is broken, then it probably will. But uh, you probably just need to use the manual eject button or manual eject screw that is somewhere on the console. Again, it's hard to explain yeah, without showing. Heads in the morning. But uh, again, a YouTube search, and you'll be able to see it. And then, of course, if it keeps doing it, then there's something wrong with the disc tray. But sometimes it literally is just a one-time being stuck. Situation. Aha! Uh -huh. Grata's prayer beads. I see why she comes up here to pray. It looks out the mother's gate. You know, I wonder what bothers me more. That she ignores me, or that with all her talking to Alma, she's never lonely. He's been abused by children for years. Given your comments about children the last couple of days, Millie, you're not really selling them all that well. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the idea of having children. <laughs> I know, I'm mainly just making a joke. As a 28-year-old man, the amount of questions you get about children on a daily basis is a lot. I'm sure other people my age or similar age can uh, relate. You should be for you. But yeah, on every uh, PlayStation console that has a disk drive, there's a manual, um, there's a screw to manually eject disks if they're stuck. You just need to open up the console and then on the back side of the 
on the disk drive there's like a screw you can drive on but again look up a youtube uh, or you can screw that manually ejects it again look up a youtube video to see how it's done but i've done it before uh, once and it's pretty easy to do Wait, no. Whoa, hey. His name. I, as, I thought. I think. I. Yeah, I mean. Uh, you. I, I thought. <laughs> she got. Anyway. As you have nurtured, take their places. They'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. There's no one. But yeah, I didn't see the state of play yesterday for Final Fantasy the Reaper because, uh, well, you guys know I'm not really interested in the game, and uh, to my understanding, they didn't show anything else. Oh, I, you know, they also said they were not going to show anything else. So. But uh, it's nice to hear you guys were really happy with the state of play. Get a good proving up. Again. I think there are uh, many other graces on the run we can scan, but when it comes to scanning all the machines in a 100% run, I like to do it at the same spot every time every run, because then I feel more confident that I haven't forgotten them. Part of the proving skip because that requires a restart from save. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up. But we can do the second part of the skip here. I felt uh, a lot further backwards there than I thought. <laughs> Mistook him from the other guy. Gotta loot the correct guy to finish it. They, they must have before I bled out. 
I'm picking up some kind of signal. There. With the rest. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? Another one of these power cells. But what do I do with it? Complicated, please just follow me. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened after the massacre at the proving? A great war, reading my notes here. <clears throat> How is the war party defeated? But yeah, really hoping we get a really solid, good run of this today. Because, uh, as I've been saying, the Forbidden West PC release is only getting closer and closer. And, uh... It's only getting closer and closer, and, um... Then, what's your plan? I've got a lot of things I want to do. And, uh, both Zero Dawn and Ghost of Shima before, um, before it comes out. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let you into no even yet. For if any may so. so uh would be nice to get this ticked off today. But I'm feeling confident about the run today, especially um Nora Faithful. With the mistakes of the last couple of runs, I feel a lot more confident. Every time I fail I basically feel more confident because uh, like at least yesterday's run it literally was just only one mistake that caused the run. I just need to replicate yesterday and not make that mistake again. Everything Aloy, please. Uh, the outcast approaches. <laughs> Ignore her. I need some but to if you order I am and I Here and the footsteps quest quest so we can head out of the embrace i should try overriding other kinds of machines probably can't ride them all but i might find a use for them have you been struggling with the fascino skipari Grata, 
All along with my all Thank you, Zaddy. All it is. All in other. Appreciate it. You started with a 47 month freeze up. Let's go. One more month to four years. I know this definitely is something that's subjective. <clears throat> something I've only started saying as I get closer to 30. Um, but thank you so much for the continued support. Really hope you're doing well. There we go, completed those two quests, and now we're off to uh, the Noir Hunting Ground. Now, I got the FC skip, but I can't do the FC skip and still do quest and finish the game Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like, you do, like, the setup for the skip and then. And then you do other things? You know what you mean? And then come back for a singularity later? Is that a benefit on the hunter? I guess it might be. Okay, gotcha. Not sure why that's a benefit, benefit but sure. I'm pretty sure once it's set up, it's set up and it's fine. I don't think you can necessarily lose it, at least not easily. Um, that's all that and that. Okay, got the weapons. This is you. Yeah. Is that what we need for the hunting ground? Take your test. Your, that's a. Let's get some good trolls now. Make these shots count. Yosef, how's it going? Let's go. It's gonna make the next turning around easier. Low and quiet, <laughs> does it? Sounds like you set yourself up for failure then. But I hope the vampire survivors were worth it. Survivors on PlayStation yet? I'm curious to try it, but I don't think it's on PlayStation. So. PlayStation for the longest time. And I haven't kept up with it since. It was on everything but PlayStation for a period of time. It came out on Switch. Because it launched only on Xbox and PC, I'm pretty sure. It was a PC only, then it came on Xbox and then Switch, and I do not know if it's on PlayStation yet. It's everywhere but PlayStation. Okay. That's weird. I wonder if Xbox... Eh, no, if Xbox is paying for it, why would they pay it to keep it off PlayStation? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. 
I'm sure eventually it will be on PlayStation because I don't see why it wouldn't. But yeah, whatever. I'll play it when it arrives. This actually looks like a lot of fun. You have I should come back. It's a turn your brain off kind of game, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know it runs on everything. I just prefer having my games on PlayStation, you know? Sub bit. Shadow items that are required for 100%. You need a boar skin, fox skin, and rabbit skin for all the run. But we don't need it until the very end of the run. We can farm the run. And granted, I probably shouldn't have gone for a boar skin anyway, because I can usually get it for free on, or guaranteed get it on the log of the hunt. If I find it correctly. I shouldn't even have gone for that, but whatever. I don't have a patch. It's possible. He looked over. He looked over. All mother. You're. Yes. I can't. She went. Okay. Oh, she. All mother. Ross said War Chief Sona went after the killers from the proving. Maybe I should try to find her. Chief left something behind. Some clue as to where she went. Uh, those skills. Might as well learn them now. <clears throat> Since we have to get get them anyway. Also, not gonna lie, during this run, I feel a little bit more tired than I was yesterday. But arguably, that's probably because of yesterday. Uh, it turns out you don't have a lot of energy when you have done an 8 hour speedrun the day, day before. Or 9 hour speedrun the day before. So, um. Uh, oh, it'll be fine. It's fine. Did you tell me you have not. I do think we are more likely to hit some walls well, today you, in terms you, of the energy you level. You put them. If you are you, I, I please, I, I'll look, I'm not, but Maru, I won't. But yeah, it's just gonna matter. 
Here she is. One thing is just that we get through them nice and easily without too many dumb things happening. And of course, just keep the focus on remembering the things we need to remember. Well, we were almost at the end, very much on pace for a sub nine hour run, and then a uh, stream died for a good five minutes. But while stream was dead, I realized that uh, I had forgot to go to the Hunter's Lodge while at the Sun King. So the trophies did not count, and I had to, couldn't stop Red Bull. So it was extra annoying moment because it happened while the stream fucked up. So when the stream came back, run was dead. But uh, yeah, kind of sad. And you know why? You know why I probably forgot it? Again, it's completely my own fault. But the going to the Hunter's Lodge, I was supposed to do that right before the Sun King where it took my break, right? But remember, the game crashed right before we got to the Sun King. And I think that distraction of the game crashing made me forget the Hunter's Lodge. Is it a good excuse? No. It's still my own fault. But... At least, I'm pretty confident in saying that's probably why I, uh, I forgot it. It was that random crash we had during the run that uh, distracted me. But I thought you were well, still behind me now. The bandits imprisoned these people. You need to... Split there. Messed up some of my movement and stuff, but it's fine. Did I remind you of the lodge? I don't remember that, but you're probably right. But uh, but yeah, that crash happening at that time just may I speak just uh, threw me off. I guess. Again, I'm not saying it's a good excuse. It's just. I'm not trying to make an excuse, I'm just theorizing or knowing exactly why it happened. Because uh, I should know that in no matter what 100% run you ever do in Horizon Zero Dawn, literally every single 100% run in Horizon Zero Dawn, every time you go to Meridian, you need to visit the Hunter's Lodge. Therefore, it also feels like an extra dumb mistake to make. Because it's like, like I said, literally every time you're in Meridian and 100%, you need to go to the... When 100% speedrun, you need to go to the Hunter's Lodge. <laughs> to progress the quests. So, forgetting it just feels extra dumb. But whatever, we'll wing. We're definitely getting a better run today, so doesn't matter. Advantage. I wonder what it'll show. A pot. So let's not worry about it. <clears throat> and I did check after uh, the run came back. It was literally the only thing I forgot. It was that? Gotta be quick here if I want to get on that tonic. Clever. I should be able to jump off the tonic from here.
That's all I care. And it should drop me on in a solid spot for sanctuary. I know, I know. I wouldn't want to be poked in the head either. But yeah, no selling us those run. We'll get it done. I did. We'll go. Speaking of silliness, just a casual sawtooth jumping through a wall there. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> but uh, for machines in this game, sometimes the walls are just suggestions. Machines don't follow the laws of physics all the time in this game. Drawing back. <laughs> this must be That's the how good the uh, Zero Dawn project was. The war chief stopped here. Dressings from. Might be a blood trail I could follow. I should try my focus. Has he art? Show me. The killers are just across this ridge. They win the curse. Let's get a good war chief here. The sin of a man buried in that soil. Corrupt the scene. I know of them. I killed them at Mother's Watch. My no, she's va and I uh, do it. Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here so in the nice ring of metal, I've taken the precaution. 
Sparks and replacing our entire stock well, nice in early shelter. Hanging, huh? Safe from stray sparks and lightning. And I'm not my life easy. I wouldn't get the shadow bow. I urge you to take similar measures or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thrawn, out. <sighs> so, Soga, how's it doing? Pile inside their base. I found damn. There's no blood. Please, devil. I'll sound. Really hope you're doing well. <laughs> Snow chill, it just There's Manuk figure there. Manuk's figuring. Now for Lug of the Hunt. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get that extra boar skin here so we don't have to worry about it throughout the run. So boring, indeed. As you know, Horizon speedruns are just boring. Boring, dead. All the words to describe it. Tasty. Skin, let's go. Not the fastest I've picked up the skins here, but oh well. Charge your bonus now. The flames burn stronger than usual. The flames, they're burning it. Easy. 
to me. Fair enough, I suppose. Makes my life easier. Fort find here, and this is a pretty solid cowardly border. <clears throat> and we do have the watch hound, so we can get the shadow on the bow for the great hun hunting now. That's good. I don't know if we have a luminous branding here, but I guarantee to get that anyway in excavation side. That corruptor rolling up. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Just a little unlucky. <laughs> Luckily, we already have a handling chrome, so this is the main thing you would want from the corruptor. Not to keep to think about Use the North Prefect. Look at the thoughts. I've got one more. I said, but it looked the last. It is a little bit silly when it just rolls off the cliff and you can't go get it. <laughs> Like, come on, game. <laughs> Why you do me that? Why you do me like that? Um. Yeah, we don't have uh, that, so let's just get the glassling. And we need the rope caster. The light is that if what, what is my life so sad? Where it, I don't, but I did. You, it's I'll go. You can't trust him. I heard you, but I what new thought there's a skill fight, maybe. And now, inventory upgrades for carry capacity. Upgrades done now. I need to find Olin. Then learn everything he knows. Who the Oh, and skills, of course. Um. How they saw me through his focus. The woman is what he looks like. Olin's plan is to me. Tower, now for the hunting ground. Oh, wait, this is nine X. Your well, what? No, which the run? It's I let's get a good run through here. <clears throat> Should I say great run? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, so funny. Is everybody in the chat just leaving now for that joke? Which, to be fair, would be understandable. This early in the stream and you get jokes like that? I'm out. <laughs> Unsub, unmudded, unfollowed, blocked. Reasonable response. annoying of the trials. Solid overall. Okay. It's definitely been the worst okay. great run hunting grounds in my time speed running this game. Heck, I've even lost a couple of hundo runs because of this hunting ground trail. Yeah. In the day. So very nice. That was a gold even. So awesome. It's really nice having these more accurate splits today, so it would be much easier to try the more actual pace throughout the run. So that is awesome.
And as I should remind myself throughout the entirety of this run, every time we go to the Meridian, we go to the Honda Switch. So let's just remind ourselves of that every time. <laughs> want to have a similar mistake to yesterday. That would be rather sad. What a beat when you sing that to them. But yeah, singing it will make us remember it, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure what beat you can make a Honda Slot song to. Hercules Hercules? I don't know that song. Is it that from Disney's Hercules? Because if so, I've only watched that movie once as a kid and I barely remember it. I know, I know, Blasphemous, I know, you don't have to tell me. But compared to other Disney movies, it just wasn't that high on my list. Spider Pig is better? Yeah. Honda Lodge, Honda Lodge. That other outlet uh, I talked to the night before the proving. Go to there to complete the quest. Uh, me to his sister if I visited Meridian. <laughs> we need to work on the lyrics for the run, but something along those lines. The nutty presider with Eddie Murphy. I have no idea what that is. I mean, I know what Eddie Murphy is. <laughs> I know what Eddie Murphy is. I know who he is, but I don't know where that is. As you there. A lot not me. We were inside. How I tar the kill. What you, it does. I need. But. No. But. I don't. He's not. Aha. Okay. I, I need. Okay. I just hope it's not one of these things that I'm really supposed to know and you will get mad at me for not knowing. Hey, come back. Similar to that Wednesday thing. So many people are not talking about this. What did he mean about Ursus' murder? Not now. Here we are. Trying not to break anything. Corner of the we in the late 90s. Wasting time. I guess I just have never seen it. Look, let's give it. This uh, doesn't ring any bells. Looks oh yeah, like it would have been pretty gym. small then, but oh, I've definitely watched a good I amount of movies that came from the 90s. I never took him for a poet. I guess just not that one. No doubt now. Olin knew I was. Yeah, I do know who Andy Murphy is. A map. The glyphs show Don't places worry. he visited. There's your... How did... I'll... Leave it Wait. Out. I'm not just... Don't ask... Look, few... Frederick. Yeah, so it came out when I was one years old. So I definitely didn't watch it, you know, then, but... I still watched a lot of movies from the 90s. Like, regardless. Oh, I uh, gotta go over here and... Buy the Lantern Lens. You need to win. You very am I not to join? So, yeah, I have a what you yours. You'll see. It's a product of its time. A lot of things in the 90s and it's earlier was thing. definitely that. But that, you're that even the 2000s, no, so quit, very probably as well. I mean, actually, that's probably like just a case for Here's so many boring. things. Um, you want kill so I can sit. I think where I probably know Eddie Murphy the best from is uh, the movies Beverly Hills Cops, or Cop, I think it's going. It's probably where I know him the best from, but I know he's done a million things. 
So that would be the first thing I think of in way. Uh, when you say Eddie Murphy. But if I prefer he wait this and they need all like out to art. I think they're actually doing a remake of that movie or that series of movies. I mean, they're remaking literally everything, so hmm. perhaps not surprising. Or is it a remake or is it a new sequel? Fair enough. Sequel, I suppose. I thought it was a remake, but never mind. Yeah. KFC, I just... seen the trailer for the new Beverly Hills Cup, I just remember seeing them announce it. They were doing it. Alright, let's see what Zayat's hiding out here. There are chains in the cart. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. Yeah, obviously those movies were more about the comedy rather than the action, so I guess if the remake is going to be more action-oriented, it's probably not going to go down too well. But you never know. The tracks lead to that compound. Given how most of these prequels slash remakes have gone these last couple of years, more likely than not, it's just going to be a thing that happened and most people will forget about it. Help the others. So there's a teaser trailer go. on Discord? Okay, might check it out then. And if it's coming to Netflix, I could. I probably will end up watching it just because. <laughs> why not? I have Netflix, I guess. You get my time. Look, if you. Thanks. The gold, let's go. Let's keep it up. Getting all the gold back to back right now. What's up, Cody? How are you doing?
feels like it's under my skin. So messy, I'm not. Should I use some mad I'm not. What are the I just didn't think about it. And you say, Haiti, Haiti, still such a. And what sister? I won't wear with my folk. I does a little bit of a. A little bit of a brain fight there on that fight. But oh well. That's fine. Um I didn't get any useful cards there. So the bandit camp. I did pick up the vessel, right? I'm pretty sure I did, but just double checking, I did do that, right? Yeah, I'm fairly confident in it. It's errant. like 99% sure but sometimes the, the slightest doubts just sets in on your second guess yourself <laughs> luckily that vessel there would not be the worst thing to miss because we do go past the excavation site later if I were to miss it of course it would probably still cost me 30 seconds or something but Compared to other things you could miss, that one would not have been the worst. As long as I realized that I missed it. You spying through my focus again. Yeah. 
still a very good camp. And there are some things you could forget and be fine. It just comes down to when you notice it, to be fair. Like I said, that vessel would not have cost a lot of time if I had noticed it. Because, uh, like I said, you do go past the excavation site later on the run. But that one would be, you would be able to back that one up without it costing too much. So that one wouldn't be the worst thing. It still sucks, don't get me wrong. Out of the worst things. Not quick enough. Let's get a good Megos in there. and corporate holdings across the globe. Pharaoh leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. Looks like the way up. find a way to hang on up here so they made the focus 25,000 people that's bigger than a tribe so they made machines and devices I guess those things were common in their world To the holograms. Awesome. 
So far, so good this run. You could argue there's been a few minor mistakes in the run, but no major mistakes, which is the thing we want to avoid. Fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fan. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Les. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have when you have a chance in a long run like this. When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. And we yes, got the yeet can. coming up. That? Liz, I can't. AKA the fastest way down from Megrosent. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to US Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Les. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. So the fastest way to get down from the Maker's End Tower here... ...is not actually the intended way down. <laughs> so when you can fast roll. There's a little bit of a glitch we can do to get down faster. So pay attention now. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners are better. This turns out gravity is quite fast too. Is all we are gonna do? Well, 
Getting down will be a lot faster Simply than jump off at, at the correct spot US and that teleports us down. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Just like that. Now, some would probably argue, isn't that theoretically against the run? Because it's kind of a teleport, which you could argue is similar to restarting from save and goes against the spirit of this run. And sure, you yeah, could probably make a very valid case fun. for that. However, that got dark. Uh, in what other speedrun are we ever going to do that strat? It's my counter argument. So, I'll allow it. <laughs> Scans and get the loot. Getting the loot here for the Hunter's Lodge. That was a very deep snow drift there. Yeah. To be honest with you, I'm not sure exactly how, how that skip actually works. Or why that glitch works. My assumption is just that the invisible walls that protects you from going too far out of bounds in the fighting arena that we land on top of. Um, my theory is just that for whatever reason, it just teleports you back into the arena if you hit it. Even if you're coming from the wrong side. Kind of like as some sort of self-love prevention. But it also just happens to ignore how fast you are going and therefore you don't die from the, the gravity. At least that is my theory as to why it works. You're not gonna like this. No ice arrows? I don't have ice arrows yet in the run. We get those in the frozen walls. Time to go over the mountain to get to Seta. That's just a theory, a speedrun theory. <laughs> nice, nice one, one but See what you did there. Is it really a master override if it doesn't override gravity? I think not.
Turns out falling in this game is just like D&D. &D. You just roll the dice and see what happens. And sometimes you can just jump off a skyscraper, roll a trenny, and you're totally fine. I can stop tensing up. Comes a complete our first cauldron here. And it always feels weird for Seta here to be the first cauldron in the speedrun, but that's how the route works. Because I feel like most people probably have this one as either the last one in their casual playthrough or the second to last one. Guess we'll loop that one afterwards. So you did this one first? Well, I think you are pretty unique then, if that's the case. I think most people do a segment. That's their first one, because it's pretty hard to avoid segments if you're there. safe. <laughs> Might have bit off more than you can chew if that's the case. Do I get the Hunter Slots trophy? Uh, the Thunderdor trophy and Stormbird trophy is much later in the run. Currently we are getting the trophies for Ravager, Sawtooth, and Stalker. Speaking of which, we're not killing the Stalkers here. Because there are other Stalkers to get later. That we are forced to kill. That would uh, obviously be a waste of time to go out of your way to kill something that you don't have to. Anyway, on to Brynn. But uh, it's not until after we have uh, talked to the Sun King, which is much later in the run, probably around the six hour mark of the run, that we'll get the Thunder Girl trophy. And we're gonna get that from the, funny enough, the hunting ground on our right here. backtracking. Since it's a no fast travel run, we obviously have to travel back and forth across the map a couple of times Damn. to get things to line up. So the hunting ground is later in the run. And it's uh, a little bit more convenient to do. If you're wondering why didn't I do something that seemingly was very close by, most likely I'll do it later though. But always open, you're Try always open to ask questions you, <laughs> yes. about oh, the run, uh, it's, if, or, in case you're not sure about something. Trophy and the platform. Okay. Why are bananas curved? I don't know. What's the deal with airplane food? Airplane food was really bad back in the 90s and 80s, the why people joked about it. Because back then planes didn't maintain pressure as well as they do today. And because of the lower pressure, your uh, test buds wait. worked. More poorly. But on more modern planes, that is not an issue, so food doesn't actually. So 
So the reason for food tasting back on planes today has nothing to do with the plane or you flying. It's probably just bad food because you fly on a cheap airline. <laughs> so hopefully that answers that question. Why a banana skirt? I don't know. Probably something to do with how they grow off the tree and get pulled down by gravity as they grow. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you think food tastes bad on your plane, you probably should fly with a different airline. <laughs> Why is RNG? Because uh, having random things happen in video games to different players is probably considered considered fun. Another signal. I must be closing in on the signal. But if you hate airline food, you could always just fly with something like Ryanair, where you don't get any food. I need to find a way to climb up to his head. fly that often so I don't know who's considered good when it comes to food. Emirates? Ah oh, yeah, yeah, Emirates probably. Probably all of the Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern airlines are probably pretty, pretty good. I just don't happen to be an avid flyer so I'm not too familiar. Back to Britain. It just sucks. It is really cheap, and if you only need like a very, 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 very short flight, for whatever reason, I guess they are fine. But otherwise, you should probably stay as far away as possible from Ryanair. They are just awful. See, the problem, especially if you're flying to London, because you're not actually going to London. That's one thing I really hate about uh, Ryanair. It's like, sure, we fly to London and then you land in fucking Stansted or... Or uh, something... I think they land in Stansted. So sure, it's a one-hour flight to London, but since you land in Stansted, you didn't have to take a fucking two-hour train ride to get to London, because Stansted is nowhere near London. I would much rather pay a higher price to let to get a plane that actually flies into Heathrow. <laughs> like it's a literal scam that that they are allowed to call it a London flight and land in Stansted. That should be 
absolutely elite. Flew with Ryanair once uh, to uh, to London, and we landed in Sunset. Never, never again. Never again. I'd much rather pay a higher price than land in Heathrow, because the money is worth it. Because you end up spending it on train tickets anyway, and train tickets in the UK are really expensive. But do yourself a favor if you're ever going to. And we're going to London. Make sure he landed Heathrow. Trust, trust me, it's worth the money that it cost extra. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unless you have some cheap transport to get from stands. Just take the train to London. Oh yeah, there are trains to London if you go down through Paris. It's just not that convenient from Denmark. <laughs> so I don't think many people would do that. Stalkers, watchers. What are they doing all the way up here? London Luton. I've never landed in Luton, so I don't know. I just know Stansted was not London. Whatever we landed in called Stansted is not London. Not even remotely. <laughs> I mean, I know most airports are located generally outside the city because of the amount of noise and pollution. But Stansted was not a London airport. That is just... no. <laughs> There's also one down in Barcelona. I believe there are two airports somewhat close to Barcelona. And one of them is definitely not in Barcelona. Snow. So it's not just London. Prickles on my skin. And it's definitely a scam, because they clearly call themselves Barcelona and London without even being remotely close. And that is just an absolute scam. It almost is like people that would fly to Denmark and London Billund. And if they called that Copenhagen. It's like nope. <laughs> Granted, I also happen to live in a place like Denmark where Copenhagen Airport is. Honestly the most convenient airport I've ever been to, so <laughs> After I've experienced a lot of other airports, <laughs> Copenhagen is pretty goddamn good. Also a little shout out I suppose to uh, what's it called in uh, the US, uh, JFK in uh, JFK airport in uh, New York was pretty convenient too, in my experience. The, the time I landed there. Two other times I've been... Oh, uh, sorry, the one other time I've been to New York. I landed in New York, and that was not... It wasn't as egregious as Stansted, but not as convenient as JFK. Oh, come on. Why is this angle so stupid to get? There we go. Got it. God, I hate that second jump there. That second jump is stupid. Yeah, the Denmark sucks at international trains. So uh, I know Eurostar. I think Eurostar goes all the way to Amsterdam, doesn't it? I know it's in Belgium, but I'm pretty sure it also is in Netherlands, all the way to Amsterdam. 
So yeah, if you have access to that, then that's pretty convenient. But uh, they don't go all the way to Denmark. The only really good international trains we have in Denmark that go south only go to like Hamburg and Berlin and then you have to swap. Granted, they are building a new bridge between Denmark and Germany. And once that's constructed, there will be high-speed rail going from Copenhagen all the way down to Hamburg. And in the future also should go all the way yeah. to Berlin, which could lead to more better connections. Or at least it will be a lot faster. So we'll see how that turns out over time. Nice. How long does it take from uh, Netherlands to London with the train? Because you don't have to go that far south to reach the channel. Because it's just you barely, you just barely have to get into France. So I guess you almost only have to get through Belgium, really, and then you're there, or at the tunnel. I guess it's not that much time. And I much prefer traveling by train than traveling by airplane. It's only four hours. Honestly, I would do that over a plane. If I if I if I had four hours to get to London, I would totally take Another the train instead. From the ancient past. Oh, you said that it's not my map. But yeah, that sounds really goddamn convenient. Losing time in this split because I'm picking up the power cell on this split. In the run I'm comparing or in the splits I'm comparing against I picked up the power cell when we went to Gaia Prime later. Oh sorry, not power cell, the vantage point. So uh, we'll the time we lose on this split right now we'll get back later, so don't worry about it. Not actual time loss. In the same way. I tried to fix it in the splits before we started, but uh, it kind of messed them up, so I decided not to. Ah! Oh, what? You didn't even do an attack when you pushed me over. No? That looked weird. Also, by the way, if you're wondering why did I pick up the power zone now, uh, because if we pick it up naturally when we get to Guy Prime, which we intended to do, since we can fast travel, we would have to walk all the way back to the armory just to get the shield reaper, which is required for 100%, and then walk all the way back. And that would obviously just take a lot of time, so it's actually faster to just do it now. Flying with KLM is pretty good too. Uh, yeah, both of the times I've flown to uh, the US, it's been with KLM uh, on the way over, and then it's been with Air France on the way back. I think KLM and Air France are some sort of... I, I think they work together somehow. So that's why it works like that. Because both of the... T uh, actually, no, sorry. I don't remember the first time when I flew with but The last two times I've been to the US, uh, I would fly to Amsterdam and then get KLM. To, uh, uh, the first time it was to New York, and the second time it was to Chicago, and uh, Kalen was pretty good. And then on the way back it was Air France. And between Amsterdam and Copenhagen it was with SAS. Also really like SAS, they've been pretty good the times I've tried them. But I know a lot of people have done complain about SAS, so... Yeah. But I don't fly often, so what do I know? 
I think the first time we flew to the US, that was with my school. The first, very first time I was in the US, I believe, I think we flew with United both ways. From Hamburg to, that was from Hamburg to Newark. And obviously Newark to Hamburg on the way back. And then in the US we flew with uh, United as well. Uh, when we went down to um, if I had right of rule, down to the Virgin to Islands town. when we were visiting that place. <sighs> Bandits have a good defense. Better spot look all their sentries before now. I look for the power cells. There, a power cell. And on the way back from the Virgin Islands, we, uh, you, we uh, landed in Atlanta and swapped to Air France between Atlanta and Paris. And then I believe it was just SAS again from Paris to Copenhagen. Hear about it extensively. <laughs> Fair enough. My cousin, who's a pilot, used to work for Love Tensor. He also constantly talks about uh, aviation. Because people that get into that are really passionate about it. <laughs> Do not. He doesn't work for Love Tans anymore because now he's uh, flies private planes. Oh, he yeah. he works for a company that got his Come on, man, if you're coming! Apparently, it pays a lot better to be a private pilot. And you get a lot more free time. Come on, you fuckhead! They only have one minute! I can look. If we let. I guess the only downside to being a private pilot is uh, sometimes you just get called for a flight out of nowhere. But that's why they pay you the good ones. <laughs> sometimes you don't know when you're gonna fly. You're only gonna get noticed with very short notice. Because I remember this year he was supposed to be at the big Christmas dinner my mom's side of the family does. But uh, literally the day before, his client wanted to, uh, wanted to fly. So, uh... Up. 
So uh, those short notice calls can just come out of nowhere. Yeah, all too lovely. Saw two trophies. Beautiful. Traveling with two laptops, so three checkup is nice. Mm. Is that a thing now? now I haven't flown in a long time. Is that a thing now that there's a limit to how many laptops you can have? I haven't flown before COVID, so I'm sure a lot of things have changed since I last flew. <laughs> because the last time I was in the US, I had a lot of electronic stuff with me. And they didn't say anything as long as my bag didn't, was not overrate, they were totally fine with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I misunderstood it. Oh, yeah, when you have to take it out of security, that sucks, yeah. Last time I went to the US, I had. Uh, that was in. What was it? 2016. Um, I had like two cameras, a hard drive, a laptop, uh, my PlayStation Vita, and I think something else as well. So I, I just had a lot of electronics with me on board. But uh, they didn't say anything, so. It was a bit of a pain to have to take it all out and put it back together, you know. And yeah, I haven't even, now that I think about it, I haven't actually flown since 2018, that was the last time. It's been a while. when me and my brother went to London to uh, watch the other NFL games over there. Actually, it wasn't to London, because when I got back from London, because we landed in Copenhagen, and at that time I was living in Aalborg, which is quite far from Copenhagen, so my brother actually paid for uh, on the way back that I could uh, uh, take the plane between Copenhagen and Aalborg, so didn't say no to that. Because uh, to be fair, between those two cities, it only it's like a 45 minute flight, where compared to. Uh, I think it's a four-hour train ride. I was willing to take the train, and I had to, back then I had taken the train a couple of times between all Borg and Copenhagen, so it wasn't a big deal, but... But he offers to pay for the flight, you know, you don't say no. So I guess that was actually the last time I flew. Yo, Dorian, how's it going? My thanks for good luck. Appreciate it. I was considering actually, this might sound weird considering ESA is so close to me. But me and Merkaz was actually talking about me flying to Norway for ESA Winter 2019 where I would fly to Norway and meet him there and then we would drive in his car down to ESA. 
That was back when ESA Winter was still in the uh, back shirt. Now it's always in Palmer, so there's no reason for me to ever fly there, but... And there's also trains to back here from Denmark, so I could have just... Ended up just taking the train, but we were... I was actually considering taking the plane up there and, ha and just do like a road trip down to ESA. Probably would have been fun. But I forgot why we ended up cancelling it. Or didn't go with that idea. Oh yeah, I think Merck has had a lot of things happen leading up to that ESA. That, uh... Well, he wasn't sure if he was going in the first place or not. He ended up going, but... I think, if I remember correctly, there was some... He had some personal things that I'm leading up to it. So, he wasn't sure about his, uh, whether or not he actually would go. Getting to ESA for me now is literally uh, an hour and ten minute train ride. Train ride. Probably would only be four. Probably would only be a fifty minute train ride if uh, I didn't have to change in Copenhagen. So it's very easy for me to get to ESA now that it's always in Malmo. to do is just take the express train to Copenhagen, swap to the Sweden train, and then from Copenhagen to Malmö is literally just a 10 minute trip from the train. Speaking of ESA, ESA is actually next week. ESA winter. I'm obviously not attending, and you probably have realized that. <laughs> that I haven't talked about it at all. But, uh, planning and going to summer. My schedule and finances for ESA winter this year just didn't line up. And also, to be perfectly honest, I prefer ESA summer. A lot more people go to summer, the weather is nice, more nice, so you can go out and see more stuff and hang out other places than just the event itself. three watchers on this run with blue drops and all three of them had not been watcher hunts. Luckily we don't need the watcher. I mean one of them was, which is how I got the shadow on the boat, but I still need another watcher hunt before the end of the run. Because you need two watch hearts to get all the shadow items and you can only buy one watcher hunt in Meridian. So I do need one more. But luckily we don't need it. Again, similar to the skins we have to collect. We don't need them until the very end of the run, so... There's uh, no panic to get it now. But uh, that being said, it would be convenient if... Uh, if I could just get it out of the way, because then I wouldn't have to think about it. You there! I hope you've come to help, because we're getting slaughtered out here. Thank. It was I'll glad. Nice. 
when the knife he could true then I'll get cannot Yeah, back to the old conversation there. Trains are very convenient in Denmark as long as you want to go north. Once you want to go oh, further south than Hamburg or Berlin, it gets a lot more complicated. Which is a shame. But there are infrastructure projects in the work to change that, so hopefully in the fu future it will be a different story. Like I said, they are beating me currently building that high speed line between Copenhagen and uh, Hamburg, so that will hopefully lead to some better trips. I have no idea when that is done. It'll probably take quite a while. Get any of the collectibles. You're doing well? not great right now I'll fully admit that maybe it was because of yesterday <clears throat> yesterday we got that purple handling car already I'm not used to having a little bit of slow handling compared to today but, uh, that should 
shouldn't be a problem. Bats upon us. Camps. Just gotta get the last metal flower here. And then we enter the ring of metal. And a bandage point, of course. Oh, the salt tube is over there. Should be able to ride over here and grab it without him seeing me. Here in Devil's Grief. So many of them. It is as Val says. We must enter the ruins for the tribe. Pass the test. Denver Stadium. Look, no, if I'm south, oh, yeah, yes. Oh, that was a gold. Nice. Let's go. Go now. <sighs> we awesome. wait on your signal. Patience, Varl. You'll know soon enough. Bring a metal here, and then the bandit camp, and then we're off to the frozen walls. I feel like this first two and a half hours of the run have gone by fairly quickly. I mean, Take my not hand. only because it's speedrun, but it doesn't feel like I've been playing for two and a half hours, so that's good. When I started the run, I felt a little bit tired, not gonna lie, but, I see but uh, now that we're further into the run, I'm feeling a lot better. So let's hope that carries on for the rest of the run. Wall. Those are the worst at the very end of the run. See you up there. Usually, if it's a good run, you the adrenaline takes over at that point to finish it.
Solid ring of metal. Could have been better. But yeah. As long as it's a good run. If we hit a wall uh, that late in the run. Then, uh... Then usually the adrenaline tricks I go in. I feel like the worst kind of walls is like... Just a little over the midway through the run. Those are usually the ones that feel the worst or tend to cause the most issues. <laughs> Warranty for my stream. So if my stream crashes today again, are you gonna reimburse me? For lost income. Good to know, Mini. Thanks for reminding me about that. I'll be uh, sending you my PayPal information when uh, the stream crashes. So kind of you. You did indeed. But uh, you were the one that said I already had it, so uh, that would suggest to me. God damn it. Uh, that would suggest to me that, um, that uh, I already have it, and therefore, if the stream crashes, you're on the hook. Wait, I have a purple damage card? When did I get that? When the hell did I get a purple that handling? It's only a 50%, but that would be way better than one I have. You can see them. I, must, they can't I see. have no idea where I got that one from. Oh well. I guess we have a handling card. For Sony's official challenge, gotcha. Pretty solid. <laughs> Probably better than solid to be honest. Probably not the best you could ever have, but still very, very good. You're clearly not good with this one. Oh, you're still dealing with the test drive? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how... Uh, I don't... It's been too long since I've done it on a PS4. I kind of actually forgot how you do it. At least the PS5 is so easy to open up compared to other consoles, so... other consoles that I've had, I've no idea the Xbox or Switches are easy to open. But 
the PlayStation consoles, I should say. Come back from the frozen walls. This must be the castle. This, uh, it works a little bit better given how the exit works in Gravel when you don't fast travel. Send them to the frozen walls and complete that. The Banuk have nothing and we'll to be back to the main game in about two hours. The eclipse won't stand either while you waste time playing in the snow. Finish that up. Turn to your desk. I was thinking. Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuk and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's the ancient past that consumes me, Eloy, not my own. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Mm. Touchy. that silence have never seen the logo here in all its glory there it is so beautiful always brings a tear to your eye doesn't it the amazing you sure you'll be frozen wild logo here, still playstation excuse i've worked up a sweat from the climb because it doesn't appear when you play the pc version <laughs> you made it to the cut outlander not that you'll stay long Smoke rising from the mountain. From the village too. What's it for? Which obviously means that the PlayStation version is clearly the best version by default. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. A little Aloy. Aloy. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea. Spouting Take all this ruckus. about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. I want mm -mm. or the she was mm. rumor not rumor. don't make I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunder's drum. Might be worth a shot. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Araya. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice who followed the river north. Sub Jaywin. Are oh, the ruckus today? Well so far it's not a ruckus, so that's good. Let's try to keep that, keep it that way for the rest of the run, you know. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today. My mouth can't find its footing on these slopes. Come on, mouth, move it, please. Take to knock one of those over. And do the last. Bit off more than it could chew with this machine part. Can't complain? Well, pretty good though, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe you should log on Twitter and find something to complain about. <laughs>
pushed me off there with the wings. Take a machine that big down. I should be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. All right. Now I just have to reach its head. Solid pace right now. By the way, just curious, because uh, I haven't asked this yet. Did anyone uh, play Foam Stars yesterday or today? So that was the new PlayStation exclusive that came out. Actually, I think it might be on PC as well, I'm not sure. That came out yesterday that I'm sure everyone cares about. It's free on PlayStation Plus, so if you have PlayStation Plus, you can try it. It's basically Sony's version of uh, Splatoon, apparently. But I don't know anyone who actually tried it. I was just curious if ever anyone downloaded it and gave it a go. Are you, I've been, you kind of sh and you, which cheesy you'll know shop if you may how to go to the uh, then a beak and off if you All right. I guess I'm Many people are still on Pal World. Well Pal World is not on PlayStation, so I'm just very curious because this is like the first of what the first of Sony's many attempts at live service. I'm genuinely curious what people feel about the game and whether or not it will have any longevity at all. I mean, I am quite pessimistic. I don't think it's gonna last long, but you never know. The same also goes for Helldivers that comes out in two days, which is another PlayStation Live service. I don't see both either of those games have longevity. I wish uh, Hell Helldivers was gonna... It's gonna be different, but I don't know. I don't think you can charge forty dollars for a live service and and get it to work. But you never know, maybe. And also with the way PlayStation is promoting and it's just shooting themselves in the foot, releasing two, literally releasing two live services in the same week. I don't know who makes the decision on PlayStation to do that, but. Clearly they don't care about these games when they do that. But at the same time, it is one of the first live service games from Sony since they announced they were going to do live service games. So I am curious to see how they perform, both Helldivers and Foam Stars. Well, Foam Stars probably has the best shot because it's free on PlayStation Plus, but yeah. I don't hold my breath for it, because I don't really see anybody talking about it or being excited for either of the games, yeah. so. 
I have my doubts. Obviously, I would be prefer to be proven wrong, but uh, as nobody wants to see things fail, boy, at least you shouldn't want things to just straight up fail. But but if we're being realistic about it, I just don't see it happening. Power was pretty popular. I wonder if it's gonna come to PlayStation. Surely it will. It's so popular. There's no way they're not just bringing it to everything. Here's the way up. But I think the whoever is making it is probably also surprised by just how popular Power World became. I, need to pull I was not prepared for it. Thing into position. And also it's still an early access game and PlayStation doesn't really like those early access games to be on their store, so maybe that's one of the reasons why it's not there yet. said Rhea went past the shrine up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. Get up. An ancient door. <clears throat> Maybe Rhea is inside. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? All right. Let's see if the door's open.
fresh air ahead. Out again. Alright, let's get a good skip here. Back inside through that structure over there. Right, mess it up. Give us harder than it looks because of how slippy these rocks can be. Another there we go. Climb. Bit of the closer. old school strat here for the frozen walls. She has to be in here somewhere. These days in the current speedrun, we are doing a fast travel instead. To the campfire on the platform. Turns out it's actually faster. Ever so slightly. Because it skips all that climbing there. And obviously it's easier to do than that skip. <laughs> so that's benefit too. But I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. And we got that. We'll figure it out. Is someone there? Ick. Orea? Orea, I need to. Uh, Orea, I should return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. And we also abandoned the camera for this. You heard it. Oh, I'm he would not let it's let whatever both weak side sounds tough. <laughs> but you you heard and or do until oh do until oh. That much shaman's path. Now we off to the bandit camp. And the bandit camp might see a bit far away because it is. But uh, unfortunately, here in the frozen wilds. With the, how quest works in this game or in the DLC here. Most quests are locked behind main story progression so we do have to uh, do things in a bit of an awkward route for Frozen Wilds here when we can't fast travel simply because of uh, things not unlocking until you have progressed a certain, a certain amount into it. stream long enough by now to get used to it first. Sure. <laughs> We're getting there, fair. <laughs> Streams are long nowadays. Yeah, here in half of December, most of January, and beginning of February, there has been just a lot of hundred percent, I guess. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I wonder if all the people that always ask, "When is Hundo? When is Hundo? Why are you doing? When are you doing hundred percent again? Can't we get more Hundo?" How about some hundo, 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 hundo? I wonder if all, everyone in chat that always says that. I'm starting to feel a little tired of hundo now. Or not? I don't know. <laughs> you guys let me know. 
But if I know you guys right, you're probably gonna say, when is next number? As soon as I'm done with this one. <laughs> you guys just are addicted to Hundo. Hundred percent sure about that. But then again, I'm also not the only one in the community doing a lot of Hundo these days. So maybe the Horizon community, or at least the people watching, the runs here in the community, can never be satiated with Hundo. Always more Hundo. Hundo, hundo, hundo. Right. Bandits aren't subtle. Clearing them out would send a different kind of message. Get up. Oh. And remember when I say I have a lot of things I want to do before Forbidden West PC? Well, this is not even the last completion thing I want to do. gonna shatter you. The Astral's fire weapon. Kill this guy because it teleports us down. I want to get glued up here. So there's good blue gleam in these boxes. Hunting ground. Won't be long before the Lurak finds out I took out the bandit camp. In fact, I'll bet my name's all. Um. Oh yeah, I should get the champion bow now. And then so. Did I say hunting ground? I meant bandit camp. <clears throat> the nil side of me showed a little bit. I'm sure if you ask nil what the difference between a hunting ground and bandit camp is, he would probably argue it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Killing is killing. Oh yeah, nice pace, minus 420. <laughs> oh. That is indeed a nice pace.
Don't go in on my son, Shaman, happy. me attacking it. Help me out, Nora. Would you? What can I do? And they. Well. I'm not a. F but a scorpion. They. I'll. Last. If you. Wanted to get the better blastling here, but I guess this merchant doesn't so much. Oh well. We'll just get it next time we add back in the minion. But then again, do we really need the better blastling? Not like we used just that much. This would be nice with the extra modifications. Challenge air attack, dumbass. Almost forget. I mean, I would have realized that pretty quickly, but. I thought. You gotta challenge him. Sub Floyd, how's it going? Almost made a mistake there. Almost forgot to challenge air attack. So. That was a little close. Let's not have any more close calls, okay? That's what I always wanted. Frost figures here I come. It's going pretty well. So, run is off to a decent start. Still a lot of run left, of course, but feeling good, feeling positive. It's not going to even notice me attacking it. So, uh, we'll see. We will see. Hopefully, today will be the day we finally get the run for this category. This challenge, I should probably call it. That would be nice. Okay, the frost figure should be just up there. The frost figures. Our attack on Ryan must be close. Hope you're doing well too. All right. I guess I already asked on that. I don't know. I am fumbling my words apparently. Looks Just like ignore me. To go up. And those rock Just ignore me. Or <laughs> well, you could answer the question again, I guess. Okay. If you really want to. make the situation awkward, you know? More than I already have. Drop 
There's a lot of boxes around here, so we'll be fine. Didn't even realize we were shot. Take your health point for the next there. challenge. Yeah. Got Ridgewood right there. Two Bellowbacks ahead, challenger. Just gonna hide when we get to a long notch. Them both. None of the other machines Need matter. Need to do some shoving the long notch anyway, so it's fine. Get Bellowbacks coming up. Now the... Uh, I do remember I didn't ever actually fill up on Richwood at any of the merchants. So no wonder I'm running up. Okay, I'm down. Got him both. The zip line and work your way down to the valley. Not that way. I need to get to the valley. Just stay out of their way for now. Better hurry or our talk will get ahead. There we go. Very nice. Always a little scary climbing down there, but you don't down. wanna die in this run. <laughs> Almost down. Because in this run it would actually be right. a benefit to die. Because you could technically fast run from that there, but obviously I don't want to do that in this run, so dying would be very annoying.
Chieftain. The Chieftain's gear. And that is a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. Come on, Eli, get up. There we go. Yeah, good wear, Challenger. Just uh, Aloy refusing to get up there. Take a machine that big down. Yeah, really good ride challenge. On the long notch. Gotta do the Hunters 3 on the way. And remember the connectables. I'm a friend. We're doing that's what? Or we want I've has the blood. Yeah. Oh. Good fight. Awesome. Now let's get that blue gleam and pigment. Did I get the animal figurine after the control tower? Before I started this fight with the hunters? I did, did I? It's not a bad thing because we are gonna go past that section again at the end of the frozen walls. But it would be nice to know because then I need know I need to remember it. It's not gonna lose any time if I forgot. I'm actually not sure. My short term memory is failing me again. I think I got it. My short-term memory has not been great today, I will admit that. It's probably a bad sign, given the run we are currently doing, but... At least so far, I feel fairly confident we're not missing anything, except that animal figurine I just talked about. Let's see what this blue gleam is worth. So... Yeah, we'll see. We go past there later in the run, so I might just check myself when we go back there. Back past. Resources. Some wood. Crafting. Curls. Long notch is well stocked. It's a long notch. And our scouts are watching. Hey, Lord. 
No. Are you? Yes. You won't. So. It was this. I'd like. Are you? But yeah, if I miss the animal figurine, then we'll uh, quicken it. How many animal figurines am I supposed to have at this point in the run? But yeah, that was supposed to be the second one, so I guess next time we pick up a animal figurine, which will be on secret chair, we'll know for sure if it's... Yeah, don't worry. I know how to uh, bag it up, because uh, I'll be able to uh, check when we get to secret chair. Whether it says 2 out of 6, or it says 3 out of 6, then we'll know. But again, as long as I know I missed it, it's fine, because we go past that section again later in the run. So it doesn't lose me any time, as long as I realized it. It's not gonna lose me any time. This means I have to remember to get it on the back way when we are done with long notes too. Right before the last fire call. When we'll go past it again. So I just realized I never put on. Well, I only have one of these gun. Go, Alton! Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you for being everyone. Hope you're doing well, man. Anyway, you raided at just at the toast, so I'm quickly gonna go to the kitchen and fill my water bottle so be right back but uh yeah be right back But awesome to you, you got a PB and uh, dummy. Rats on that. Wow. 
Wow, free yeah, corruption yeah. tiles? Yikes. Oh, that sucks. Now Aloy, the door. Can you open it? Free corruption tiles. That is just terrible. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'll be able to connect the screen back to the internet here in a this sec. Way. A little unfortunate that uh, that happened, but uh, it's fine. Like I said, I'm always locally recording my run, so if you're watching this on YouTube, yeah. the video should be totally fine. Uh, it's just a stream internet that went down, and you probably just heard that doo -doo window sound. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually went up on stream. Might only have been me that heard that, but regardless. Uh, it is reconnecting here in a second, so should be fine. And then uh, local recording is always running, so so even when I lose internet connection like this, looks like stream is coming back now, and the local recording is still there, so nothing happens. But we should be back on stream again, according to OBS. Stream is back. Sorry about that, chat. Wow. Come on, yeah. yeah, sorry about that. There was a minor little incident out of there, guys. Apologies, but everything should be back to normal, and we are locally recording the run, so don't worry. Come on over, the full video safe. will still be able to go on YouTube. So when the internet cuts out, the local recording is still recording. So it's only the stream that was missing that little thunder draw fight, I think. It was the only thing you guys missed. This place looks more like the mountain used to be. And you unfortunately missed the. Uh, Terrible RNG I have with the exploit successful. Restraints abated. On the Thunder Drone. The Thunder Drone literally dropped um, by a malware The Thunder Drone literally dropped three corruption coils. Like literally the worst RNG possible. Because corruption coils are just so goddamn yeah, useless. At all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build Recapture imminent. I have attached a but oh well, stream is back. Everything is fine. Hopefully I didn't miss any questions in chat. It sounds like your car. Yeah. Maybe right. Let's keep moving. Uh, by the way, Alton, I'm not sure if you're still here, but uh, I think I said it when the stream came out. I'm not sure if it came through, but again, congrats on your new PB and dummy percent. GG's to that. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to kill him. I forgot I had loaded up a triple shot. I just wanted to tap him so he stood in the right place, but luckily the skip is not that much lower. So it's fine. And actually going around the back there makes it so the scorchers doesn't need this bucket. So, it's fine. It's fine. the only internet issue we'll uh, deal with today and uh, the rest of the run will just run smoothly still no idea why these internet issues happen so often uh, ISO, <coughs> ISO and uh, I think Frank I think it was Frank and ISO yesterday gave me some things I could look into that might be why I have these internet, internet issues so I'll uh, look into them when I have some time just didn't have time to do it today 
Oh well, as long as the internet stays stable for the rest of the run, I'm fine. Anyway, let's hope the game doesn't crash here when we do the skip. Wait for the dialogue here. Yeah, looks like I'll have to go over. Pretty sure I'm waiting for the dialogue might be the trick. I'm going to crash, and then you don't want to touch any of the control of all this cutscene place. Because if you do, it almost guarantees it crashes. Okay, we good. Yeah, I think it's the dialogue you have to wait for. So I think in the previous runs, because this is a really old strat, I just forgot to wait for the dialogue. Audio a little bit delayed. Let me just reboot Capture Card. I think the Capture Card might have had a little delay. Yeah, imagine having to listen to that. Like, you in a speedrun? Yikes! But all my YouTube comments are on all Peter Moore on Twitter they say we speedrun is hate story. And here we are listening to dialogue? Yikes! Gotta live up to the stereotype. Will have a lot easier as uh, the internet says, speedrunners just hate the story of the games they play. Also, gotta bring up oh, Shop Shop Bow. Must be triggering the LZ attack. Mr. Blevins. If you're a lore expert, you would probably know why I said that at that exact moment in the run. And if you're not a lore expert, unfortunately, you should read the data box. Moving towards the core. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Festus is happy about it. Okay. The new unit that Cyan warned us about. This won't be easy. Getting a purple damage card. Literally, 36 is the lowest you can get on a 36. Or a 36 is the lowest you can get on a purple damage card. And, uh, and the reason why I'm even more annoyed is because the handling card I also have is a 50. And the lowest handling purple handling card you can get is a 48. 
So yes, the game is giving me the handling coils and damage coils. You know. But it's just barely giving me. Barely giving me them, you know. Count it kinda feels like the game is reluctantly giving me the coils, if you know what I mean. Luckily, however, I do think, um, luckily, at least damage curls wise, we are guaranteed to get better curls throughout the run thanks to the unique modifications. But hopefully, we'll get a better handling curl eventually. Yeah, it's basically a consolation prize. We would have given you a higher percentage of damage if you had uh, not triggered all three towers on the platform. At least I'm sorry. True. I wash my fingers. It's not dead. It's still want to point it out. we are guaranteed to get some good damage. Imagine if there was a pristine handy curl, that would be some nice. He's just gonna do that attack. Thank you, game. I guess I'll stop complaining. Um. I guess I'll stop complaining then. <laughs> Double handling cards. Take you down, am I? I? Feel like the game was like, yeah, th those handling cards were kind of shit. I feel bad for him. I was not oh. expecting that to happen. <laughs> awesome. A blessing from the Lord. Wonderful. Alright, time to meet up with Ikri. Thank 
Come. Up. The mount is really just hunting me down, isn't it? <laughs> Not if we can help it. More up? Looks like it's clear. We did it. I we you managed to get the skip. Let's go. If you manage to ugh, can't speak. Um, if you manage to kill those uh, three long legs there, then the other machines do not spawn. Or if you kill them without being spotted. Yo, Ali with a one-year Risa. Hell yeah! How's it going? Thank you so much for the continued support. Really hope you're doing well. And can we get in some tribe emotes on the chat for one year reason? Thank you so much. Oh, really appreciate it, Anton. Really once. appreciate it. Yeah. Jesus. I feel like my tongue is just fumbling over every word I'm saying today. Probably should drink some more water. Maybe that's the reason. Perhaps that is the reason. Yep. All the machines are. Looking forward to the future. Awesome. Are you talking about or referring to your move to Pittsburgh? That you were talking about, or are you referring to something else? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but cool. I guess at least you all know that doing these four months that uh, at least it will be kind of a situation where you know for the next four months that uh, that it is just four months. It's not like you can see the end of the light at the end of the tunnel. You know? That's always the thing. I. That's always uh, the way I look at things like that, where. Well, if I, if I have like a really busy schedule or something like that for like a week or two and I know that it's only gonna be for say a week or two, then it's like much easier to get over it. <laughs> What's up, Zach? It's a perfect thing to have on while you build a Lego tower. Oh, nice. You got one. Let's go. Welcome to the Lego tall neck owners club. to get an eBay since they discontinued it. 
Oh, okay. I hope it's not too pricey on eBay or on second on those uh, kind of sellers. Hello, but yeah, I managed to snack. I actually got two um, back when they launched. Got one for myself and gave one to a friend back then. But uh, yeah, they discontinued it uh, some time ago. But uh, with those kinds of LEGO stuff, there's pretty much always somebody who just buys it just to resell it later, once it's discontinued. Because all LEGO products are kind of timed like that. Oh, it's cheaper so than the retail? Oh, the banged up box, gotcha. It would seem your time among the Manuk was to waste after all. Yeah, so I guess if the box is banged up, they can't overcharge for it, I suppose. Interesting. What do you so I guess it would only matter if you care about the box or not, but I assume you didn't. <laughs> but its name comes from a language even the old ones can say. That about a normal press? Oh, okay. A connection, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know how Lego is in terms of like. Whatever they are, they're still out there. You know, on sales like that, but. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the. But yeah, I have no idea how uh, the prices actually were for Lego sets. I'm sure some of them are probably stupid expensive. I guess it might depend on how old they are. What happens to Silence Dialogue? If you get far enough away, it stops playing because it's tied to the, I guess, the area of Aurea's Retreat. Why that's the case? Honestly, I don't know. Kind of seems weird because I feel like a lot of people playing casually would accidentally end it early, or could easily end it early. One of these things again. I guess up here with secret chairs, she could chat. Ugh. We gotta see how many animal figurines we have. Cause we're supposed to have two, so if it only says if I'm picking up the second one, then we know I forgot the other one. Here we go again. We'll see if it says two or three when I pick it up. Hopefully it says three. That means I didn't forget the other one. And even if I forgot it again, it doesn't lose time because. I have to go back there anyway. What's up, Felice? We're not gonna lose time, but it'll obviously be nice to know whether or not. Uh, I actually forgot it. Three out of six, good. So we didn't forget it. I wasn't sure if I picked Just it up or not. Up. But mom, doing good, doing good. Speedrun is going solid too. Forget about traveling light. 
Nobody else got this far in. Shouldn't be hard to remove. If it was useful to someone, can't hurt to be prepared. Safe, for a few minutes anyway. So landing around here. Let's get some good trials done. Aloy! Hey, Aloy! Come to test yourself? <laughs> Why else would you be out here? Only that will slow me. Accidentally slotted onslaught first, but uh, I guess that's fine. This is it. Another one. Game where you're playing again? Are you talking about Zero Dawn? Oh, for Ben West. 
Gotcha. GG? Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure which one you said, so... But a lot of people told me they're playing the game, so... All the time. <laughs> but, uh, GG on finishing it? Are you gonna do the Burning Shores now, or why? Did you also finish Burning Shores? Start that later tonight. Uh, cool. Have fun with it. Pretty good hunting around here. Come. I'm. Um, and it is gold. Awesome. Never. I guess I do now. How about you? No, we'll take you drop. We'll fight on it. And I'm more. You're real. It should. That's. Aloy. Lure the machines back here and I'll freeze them. Got a good e creature on Don't him. worry, I don't miss. Can I target them when they're vulnerable? Don't Got worry, e creature I do miss. Apparently. I guess that's not a bad thing necessarily on these guys. Then they do come running in. My set. It was a thing. I let's. I hope fades. Very nice. That was a really clean hunting ground action there. Let's go. <whistles> Down to the hunters free. I remember the animal figurine down here as well. This is as good as DLC is the Frozen Wilds was. Don't take this the wrong way, because I do think the Burning Shores is really good. But I will say uh, Frozen Wilds is definitely the better DLC. <laughs> but I still really like Burning Shores. Just got a uh, just got some minor issues with the Burning Shores, but uh, probably shouldn't mention them if you're about to play the game. So you'll figure you'll probably figure that out yourself. Frozen Wilds is also just exceptionally good. Hey, she's starting without us. Let's get down there, Flame and Skull. That is not our name. Maybe we should table this argument until after the hunt. Yeah, yeah, I, I know the thing. Thanks for the reminder, though, but I did plan on getting it on the way out. Don't you worry. You want to know my thought on the final boss, but you won't ask because of Martin? Uh, yeah. I mean, I kind of want to answer it, but, uh, I don't know. Probably for the best if uh, Martin hasn't played it. I talk about Forbidden West and Pro Burden a lot, so... We'll probably hear my answer eventually, I suppose. I was... <laughs> I can... Punch... Well...
Yeah, no worries, Millie. Perhaps I'm intentionally doing it to try to give you a heart attack. <laughs> Stuck back here. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we got oh. well, double check. Oh. It sucks if you have to hunt one down. It's just far away from the others. Double check to make sure. For an hour, you may be the new couple. It will you be you think. Right, once a water latched. <clears throat> Time to meet Gildan, the Lord and Savior. May he bless the rest of this run. About to take a drink of water and then my mom get calling on rock. Don't drink and ride, kids. You never know when you're gonna end up in an accident. Detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin, huh? Wonder where that is. <laughs> Looks like a control center. What happened to the Eastern Waterfall? Gildan. Uh, now there, I took so I so I put the uh, when the by the so, two behind. Guess what? I get. Got all of them. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place.
One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? A ladder is And depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. Ladder is a ring special thing. Let oh, me look close, around. Bring across the What's up, Bowser? Huh? Nope. You're right above me. Not that one. Look out below. Am I sure I didn't forget anything? I'm feeling confident. Now we've done this once before. I mean, main game wise, it can't be salvaged if I were to have forgotten something at this point in the main game, because we are basically gonna visit all of the map still. <clears throat> frozen Walls Rise. I'm feeling very confident about the Frozen Walls right now. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. Almost bullish. God, it's not working! <laughs> Damn thing's too heavy. Slide behind me, would you? See anything big and... Uh... But now, I'm very confident. I'm feeling very good about this run so far. Looks like all the counter we broke off. I can get up there. My weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. But are you sure? Yes. No, we are not missing the green pigment. Or blue game. Um, would be hard pressed to miss a quest of the frozen ones. Going down. Without my splits being messed up. But am I positive? Only for certain illnesses. Water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes. All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. Shoutouts to Concrete Beach Party, by the way. I should head back up to Gilded. Sounds like a sword side morning in the claim. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. Fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Oh, looking? My. Right. I'm it's. Overflow basin empty. Here we go. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Ham, whoop, da, indeed. Right see you later, Gildan. We'll, we'll see you in the burning shores. But let's hope 
He will bless the rest of this run. Water's lower now. What's that sound? It's coming from downstream. <laughs> to be fair, the Bin West does have both Concrete Beach Party and Gildan, so. You know, I guess we're fine. <laughs> It is a little bit more special. <coughs> Obviously the war <coughs> the dam here is a holy site. As it was the first time we saw the Lord. That's the rock. I'm loud. No. Mm. That's yes, but please. That will always be very fond in our memories. Speaking of concrete speech, party. From the Let's have some fun. Take the time loss for this banger. It's gonna end up here because I have to start the quest. But we got to listen to some of it. <laughs> the man is strong now. You well, hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. You would, and then great. I'll be. Where did they sit? Yeah, I actually don't know who sings it. Not every day you see one of the great Weirax. I'm sure uh, if you look through the credits of the game, you will be able to figure it out. How's uh, Gildan not a category uh, for one? Is the heart of Forbidden West category no. extension yet? No need. Now I can well, the rules for the category extension is three people has to do a run of it, and it becomes a run. But nobody has done that yet. But granted, most of the people that do all the category extension things were PC runners, so maybe no the PC version will breathe some life into down. Forbidden West category extensions. We'll see. Hunter, I, it's me. You're not they get to Where do, there's no humor down and if. So if you want a category for Gildan, just gotta come up with an idea. We got Smack present in this game. Could make Hawk present in the Burning Shores. Or Looking Glass present or whatever. I don't know. 
Be creative with your ideas. And if it's a good enough idea, I'm sure you can inspire some of the other runners to try it. But it's gonna be hard to top Smack Percent, because uh, well, Smack Percent is pretty legendary. <laughs> Sure, Gildan Hawks Aloy when uh, if I remember correctly when What's you get it after you retreat the looking glass. Here should be the last animal figuring. Yep, six out of six. Good. There. to get away from these guys today. Awesome. If I'm not mistaken, this is the last big one, right? Oh no, that's the one next to Montana. So 8 out of 9 is correct, too. I missed the pick one. Oh yeah, we got another handling car. Is it better?
Let's not mess up the jump here. You know, come on. That's us. I nice gold. Survive a new claw. If Inatut survives, he's forgiven. But I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. Almost done on the frozen walls. Not much left to go. So after the Frozen DLC and the Burning DLC, is the DLC, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. So we had Frozen, we had Fire. I don't know what they're gonna do next time. Because <laughs> those are kind of two opposites. <laughs> Windy DLC. We just need to get wind and earth added to go full avatar with it. Jaws on that thing. They could snap a sawtooth right now. Can't even make a dent in that thing. Average temperature DLC, lol. <laughs> Alright, on to Montana here. Gotta remember the pigment and blue gleam after Montana. <laughs> Mid DLC. <laughs> Magnificent. 
Magnificent American Black Bear. Brought to you by I Montana oh, uh, Recreation. I but as you I have You take that. That's are you sure? Let's get this pigment over here and then the blue gleam and then off to the last two. Oh sorry, not the last two fragments. But the double fire. There we go, nine and nine pigments. Beautiful. Blue gleam and then on to long notch. But I do feel like it's pretty early to guess what the DLC is even gonna be called. You need to be somewhere else. haven't even like guessed or talked about what her game would even be called you're just making it funny i know and i'm turning it serious so deal with it <laughs> now, from what i've seen most people seem to say horizon nemesis will be the third game but i don't know about you that seems a little on the nose, a little too predictable for my personal liking. <laughs> That's missing a word, yeah. HN just isn't gonna sound as good as HFW and HZD. You know. I feel like that's what I've seen most people predict the third game would be called. Outlander. But yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of that. It's not, but you. Not. This. Not. The button and death. 
Wait. But it could be that yeah. we already know what it's going to be called, because... Yeah. It's zero at all. Forbidden West was predicted well, because the Forbidden West you, I'll see what I, was uh, mentioned so many times. I, uh, okay. What? Uh, and so I know it could be that something has been mentioned a couple of times. And I took. Why don't you? So that's right. We can. I'll pass. Okay. And Forbidden West. That will be the name. But then again, we also very easily predicted the DLC name with the Burning Shores. Or, quote unquote, predicted. Depends on if we are talking about you guys or me. <laughs> I mean, I understand why people say Nemesis, it's just. Eh. I also feel like there's so many other games and movies and stuff that already are called Nemesis. I feel like they can come up with something a little bit more clever, unique. It's officially confirmed, but I mean, Gorilla said all the way back in 2019. I think it was might even actually might even be 2018 that they were planning on doing a trilogy. So his vision for a trilogy was probably at least set in stone before he left. I would imagine, like long before they even announced Forbidden West, they uh, they said they wanted it to be a trilogy. So I'm sure they had. Some story plans set in stone before. Time to get off. <clears throat> before um, he left. In it, you'll find the eggs. Hey, you, this, you look out for the. For his out. Would be my guess. So it might not be that he has written the entire thing out like exactly how it's supposed to be, but at least. This main story beats of where it's supposed to go after Forbidden West. You, I has. I'm off. When the old someone should do a quarter lady. I mean, there are plenty of series that have four games. <laughs> to be fair, like Resident Evil has way more than four. What are they up to? Eight now, right? Yeah. Uncharted had a fourth. The sand near some plant is as thick as the snow in the cut. You mean exactly four? Well, Uncharted. <laughs> there you go. Unless you count the spin-offs too, then no. <laughs> you count Lost Legacy and Golden Abyss. It's from up all up that I have a song, but a new Would you stop? I work that maybe you tell, but I don't you help. But 
honestly, these days, with how video games are going, the cloud it'd probably be better if we got more... Uh, old. More games that do the God of War approach of just being like, two games, and that's that. Which the fuck is it? I've already the cut. I'm as a uh, yeah, let's sell first. The time to clean up inventory here and get a lot of shots. ASMR. Let's just double check frozen walls here. One 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 nine six nine four four three eleven five. Yes, we good. No, it didn't say a hundred percent, but that's because we're gonna finish the Vaga quest inside the main game. Because it's faster to do it there, so we don't have to go back to the frozen walls. Sure, there's no geared up. Yep. Okay. Just double checking there wasn't something I forgot to finish. Because in this run, if you forget something when you can't fast roll, it's uh it pretty much kills the run. So just wanna double check. You gotta make sure. That we have dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's, you know. Alright, back to the main game. Time for Graveport. Am I a Tomb Raider enjoyer? Uh, I've only played the Survivor Trilogy, aka the free mutton games, uh, 2013 Rise and Shadow. But I'm very much looking forward to, in less than a week from now, I guess, since it's Wednesday today, to uh, play the remasters. Because uh, I never played the original, as I said, and I'm very curious about them. Always been interested in them, just never had a the reason or the hardware to get back into them. Be fascinating if they weren't looking or uh, to try them out you know the hardware they're on steam you do realize i'm a massive console scrub you know i rarely ever play anything on pc especially these days <laughs> I don't even have Steam installed on my PC at the moment. They're inside too. Operation Enduring Victory. Whatever it was, it didn't seem to have turned out very well. It must have been where the thought was in the place. The furnishing were better. That's also why when Seth mentioned earlier that I could play Vampire Survivors on PC, I was like, yeah, I could do that. But. Then I would have to install Steam, but eh, 
Yeah. Yeah. A holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in the Yeah, I uh, heard about that. I personally don't really care about trophies, so that's Free not points, really gonna bother me. Resources. But uh, that is weird. That is very weird. There's been some weird trophy things happening the last couple of years with certain games, and that's just another one that's on the list, I guess. That's two. One more. I mean, at least they're giving a lot of trophies, but it effectively becomes pointless when, pointless when there's not a platinum. I wonder what the reason is for that. It's probably not even a good reason. But, uh, yeah. It's probably somebody just messed it up. But, uh, not gonna affect me. I'm not a big trophy guy, so... Yeah. Probably boring technical stuff. There's no boring technical stuff with tr how trophies work. What I would assume probably happened is somebody just forgot that on when they made the game, they forgot Platinum Trophies exist on PlayStation. I mean, it is relevant if you care about trophies or a trophy under for sure. So I'm sure those people are really bothered by it. But uh, given how trophies work, it's it's most likely just whoever was in charge of doing that at the studio making these remasters uh, probably just copied over the trophy list from Xbox or PC where uh, where there's no platinum trophies and therefore assigned it incorrectly. Because from what I understand from listening to a lot of PlayStation podcasts, including ones from people that make games for PlayStation. Uh, like setting up trophies is apparently like extremely easy. There are some rules about how trophies are supposed to set up, but it's it's hard to make a mistake. With them. Essentially, the way trophies work for every game, there are exceptions, but you need to have a really good excuse for an exception. But for a default, and I mean really good, like very few games get exceptions. Thank you, Doctor Sir. The only one I can think of from the top of my head is uh, is uh, is Minecraft that has gotten an exception. But uh, uh, but effectively, apparently, how trophies work when you assign them. Obviously, you need to tie them to things in the game. But uh, every game can have a platinum trophy. It's just up to the developer whether or not they want to have it. And, uh, but uh, when setting up the trophies, you can only get a certain amount of points. And apparently a Platinum Trophy is worth 180 points. Uh, a Platinum Trophy is worth, I think it's 180, a Gold is 90, Silver is 60, and then a Bronze is 30. And each game can only have a maximum of a certain amount of points. And then they just need to distribute the trophies so if you wanted your game to obviously you can maximum have one platinum but if you want your game to apparently uh, just have all gold trophies all bronze trophies you could do that you just need to spend those points the way you want and some put a good amount of effort in it because that's a good idea because there are a lot of trophy hunters that buy games based on trophies so long as, humanity holds as we have up, talked about before, it's one of the reasons why uh, trophies are becoming Farmer easier and easier to earn, especially platinum trophies, is because people is buy because crime. of trophies. So that's why it's interesting when Studios it's just doesn't seem to care about it. A trophy is worth anything? No, it's just Dr. a collectible Seven. thing on I PlayStation. But, uh, so what here. probably happened with the, the Tomb Raider thing when is somebody started. probably just copied the achievement list they made for Xbox change. and Steam. And then they reached the maximum points or whatever, or more likely, given the fact that it worked on PS4, they just forgot to add the Platinum Trophy on PS5 when they submitted it to Sony. To my understanding, you can patch trophies, so they could make it, so a platinum will happen. 
This is the matter of whether that those developers that make the Tomb Raider remakes care. Because there are games that have had patches to the trophies or changes made to the trophies in the past, but uh... <clears throat> but yeah. But uh, my assumption is just somebody messed it up when they set up the achievement list. If my understanding of how trophies work is correct. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work. Because I've to heard uh, people talk about the technical behind the scenes stuff of making PlayStation games. A lot of podcasts and stuff, and trophies is often a topic that comes up. Because a lot of people that listen to those kinds of podcasts are very heavy trophy hunters. Uh, let's just get uh, the rest of the skills out of the way that we are going to need. So I don't have to think about it. For the rest of the run. I used to care about the trophies, but uh, I kind of lost interest in it as I got into speedrunning. I think it's Banuke. And also, there were a lot of times where I stopped liking or I uh, started disliking a game because of the final stretch to getting the platinum was just so annoying. But I felt like I've also felt like uh, there was a couple of times where it ruined my experience with the game because of the trophies. But that's also why I. Stop caring about them. Because there are some games that just have stupid requirements. So you end up beating a game and you probably really enjoyed it, but then cleaning up for the platinum just completely ruins your taste. I remember Assassin's Creed Black Flag was one of them. Getting those multiplayer trophies after you've completed the main game was just such a chore. Ugh, that sucked. Multiplayer trophies always suck. I don't know why developers always put multiplayer trophies in their game. They really shouldn't, because let's be honest, people that actually care about trophies do not care about multiplayer. Nine out of ten times. Probably even 99 out of 100. What else can I do? <laughs> obviously, if you have a game that is mainly multiplayer or only multiplayer, obviously trophies should be multiplayer related, but in some games where multiplayer is literally just a tagged on thing or, you know, by far not the main point of the game, there just shouldn't be multiplayer trophies. Long ago, and it's been sending a signal all this time, fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. No, they've already started attacking. <laughs> the hunt is back. Isn't there a horizon multiplayer? There's two horizon multiplayer games coming. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do it. So there's two in the development. Yes, bore and rendered me. I don't fear it. Inevitable. He's not going to be happy about this. Nora, no, this. The, no, when would I have the help? So bored, I'm talking to myself. So, in terms of Horizon things coming, just a friendly reminder obviously, we know PC version coming soon. Uh, and we know somewhere down the line, at the earliest, probably 2026, we'll see Horizon 3, but more likely 2027, if not 28, given how long it takes to make a modern AAA game. Um, so those are, you know, those are those things. Uh, and then through uh, leaks, we know, or uh, technically not through leaks, but through insiders, we know that uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Remake is in the works. Uh, that is 
first we heard about it, it was supposed to come out this year, but obviously not announced yet, so we'll see if that still holds true. But yeah, I think it was supposed to coincide with the Netflix show that is always also in the work. So they might push it back if the Netflix show is delayed, because... So we'll see. So yeah, Zero Dawn Remake, Horizon Netflix show was in the works, and then there's the two multiplayer games. So, according to what we know, there's a there's a multiplayer game in the works which will be a lot more co-op focused, is my understanding, that is made by Gorilla themselves. And then the other one is made by the, the other studio, I keep forgetting what they're called, but the, the guys that made the Guild Wars games, or something like that. Um, uh, and they are working on a Horizon game that will be more focused towards mobile phones. Um, and there were some leaks about that recently, but I honestly forgot most about it. Um, so, um, so yeah. And the rumor is about the phone game, uh, some credible rumors apparently, is uh, the Horizon phone game will be in... Oh, it, it will be on phones, but it's also gonna come to PC and PlayStation, but it's predominantly made to be on phones, I guess, and allegedly should be heavily inspired by, um, uh, heavily inspired by stuff like Jensen Impact. Can Sony has probably looked at that game, seen how much money it makes, and been like, yeah, we want to get that money too. Oh, then it's point. I think in the vantage point is higher up, but it's not. So, yeah. If you don't have PSVR 2, is it worth watching Call of the Mountain playthrough? Yeah, yeah, I would probably do. That's what I did. I don't have a VR either. And I thought that was totally fine. Because I, I just can't justify spending the money on a PSVR 2 when when the only game I really want to play is Call of the Mountain. Granted, some of the games they showed up in the recent state of play, the Metro VR game and the Adventure D&D VR game. Honestly, both of those look kind of cool. You're back. Hey, I'll see. But uh, I'm still not sold on the idea of getting a VR headset. My hope for Call of the Mountain, at least, is that uh, Sony made a pattern that would make the PSVR 2 compatible with PC, so that could be one thing. But my hope is just, even though I doubt it, because I don't think enough people care, and the game didn't sell amazingly, uh, my hope would be that Sony would put the money into porting Call of the Mountain to other VR headsets, but I just don't see what happening. How do I fall? Where do I fight? I'm not uh, if. But uh, I don't know if Sony would port Call of the Mountain to other VR platforms, like they're porting PC games. Or like they're porting console games to PC. So I don't know about Call of the Mountain. But again, I would also argue, sure there's a little bit of lore in Call of the Mountain, but it's not much. And you're not really missing out if you've not seen Call of Mountain or played it. Is my opinion. If you're just looking to get more Horizon story. I 
to be quite honest with you, there's even there's even a thing that happens in Call of the Mountain that kind of ruins some of the established lore already of the game, or it doesn't ruin it. Well, there's like two things you could argue might ruin a little bit of the lore depending on how you interpret it. And one of the things is hard to argue; it doesn't ruin the lore, but yeah. Oh, they stabbed the story, I guess. Yeah, that's one thing. Obviously, Aloy showing up in Call of the Mountain makes no sense, given when dead. Call of the Mountain supposedly takes place. Is someone there? So that's the one thing. The other thing has to do with the Sun Ring. Please let me out. Oh, what happened? I can't. Up them. Whatever. Yeah. I could be wrong and misremembering this a little bit, but the Call of the Mountain makes it seem like the sun or uh, the sacrificial up. sun ring of Meridian wasn't located in Meridian, and there's data points in Meridian, literally saying it is in Meridian, and it's the place with Honor the Fallen and all that stuff is Hurry! the old sun ring. Help me up. So that's a little bit of a mistake. You have a you know the, no hmm you have talk here I'll see. but yeah i would say the main issue though is the aloy showing up in the game which it doesn't really add a lot to the game either so yeah uh, i feel like that was just purely done for fan service and it just doesn't make sense <laughs> Worst part about it, they probably could easily have changed some of the things about the it's Call and Mountain story and <laughs> Han had Aloy in it and there wouldn't have been any issues. Because the story they tell in Call and Mountain could easily have taken place at another time. Where the Aloy, Aloy conflict wouldn't really have been a thing. But I feel like for the best. Or maybe it couldn't be easily done. I don't know. I would need to think about it. But regardless. The Aloy shouldn't just not have appeared in the game. <laughs> kind of ruins the... Is it continuity? The word I'm looking for? I think it's continuity. Easy. Easy. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's what I've remembered there. Because I was thinking, couldn't they do it between Forbidden West and Zero Dawn, but then I was like, oh wait, no. There's actually a lot of established story in the six months between Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, so no, that would not work. I just reminded myself. But yeah. But uh, yeah, you're right. Right, well, let me meet Hunting Ground. Let's get a good Hunting Ground here. Now, wait. For this, got it. So, that also makes it seem like Call of the Mountain was a bit more of a forced game, to be honest. And they just wanted some recognizable first party game to be there at the launch of the PSVR 2. They're scanning for me. And 
and it just happened to be Horizon would be the one they would do. And yeah. I don't know, maybe somebody in Corella will be debate me on that, but that's at least how it feels because of some of the choices made in Call of the Mountain. Or oh, Fire Sprite. Somebody in Corella or Fire Sprite wants to break me. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, be my guest. Uh, It does feel like some of the, some of the story beats uh, should have been considered a little bit. And I wouldn't be put it past Gorilla to make these mistakes. Just to, you know, be a little bit more fan service y with Aloy showing up, because they also have Nil in Forbidden West. And yeah, that's a, that's a similar issue. <laughs> Probably not as strong of a one, but yeah. You wanna in if that Definitely ways they could have implemented it without it being too much of an issue, but yeah. Um, I will also admit, I am probably I'm forgetting a lot of the details of Call of Mountain at this point. Because the game is almost a year old and uh, <clears throat> and I only watched the playthrough back when it came out. So. Well, to be fair, I think I watched it twice and took some notes that I have somewhere. But uh, yeah. But uh, so don't get me wrong, Call of the Mountain is a great VR game from everything I've seen on it, and it's pretty impressive and all that, and it looks beautiful. It just feels like there's some choices they made that make it feel a little bit forced to be crammed into the Horizon universe, I suppose. Because it's only those few mistakes that is just... That is just uh, ruining... Um, I still think it's Looks continuity like is the word I want to use, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If you don't complete all the gauntlet races, you are spared of spared from meeting Nil. West. Yeah, I mean, Nils Forbidden West appearance is purely just fan service. You cannot argue otherwise. And it's probably just because Nil turned out to be a way more popular, char popular character than they probably predicted he would be when they when they released Zero Dawn, and then they were like, ah, this really popular character, we gave them the choice for them that he could live or die. And now we want him to be in Forbidden West. Exactly, that's my... Blood everywhere. I, 
<laughs> totally agree with you, Astro. The machine totally. dropped something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. Oh. oh. Luckily, we don't have to whistle until we are way far away from him. We'll probably be fine. <laughs> And to be honest, the two choices where you have to actually save or kill somebody here in Forbidden West. Oh, it's, sorry, Cyrodon. With uh, Nil and Olin. I would also argue they could have easily removed those from the game. They've I feel like those were just a symptom of its time back in back in the mid 2010s. It was like really popular for video games to have those multiple choice endings. A similar thing happened in GTA 5, where you could uh, where you could choose uh, between di three different endings in GTA 5, but obviously only one of them is actually good and makes sense. It was just back at that time for whatever reason it was like super popular to have video games multiple ending choices in video games and like so many games had them and most games did not need to have them i thought they'd go on forever i think that was also a little bit of a symptom of its time oops <laughs> no. fell down into the same hole twice Nice. Great job. I am so good at this game. <whistles> At least buy the whole dinner first. I mean, yeah, I probably should. So like when Zero Dawn was in development, that was like when all those multiple choice endings were a thing and in some games they worked and some other games they were not good at all. <laughs> Some games they were just not that good. Because Bioware was at its uh, height and everyone wanted the piece well, of that fame without really understanding how it worked, yeah. Yeah, Bioware was uh, really at the peak there at the time, that's true. How the mighty have fallen. I also remember leading up to Zero Dawn's release, and everybody was like, oh, Zero Dawn is clearly gonna be the worst of the three games coming up. Obviously, Breath of the Wild, Zero Dawn, and Mass Effect Andromeda. Because everyone was like, sure, everyone that has a Switch is gonna be, or everyone that likes Nintendo is gonna play Breath of the Wild on their Switch. And, um,. But, and everyone else would play Andromeda, and then nobody would play Forbidden West. Oh, yeah, Zero Dawn. But uh, here we are. It turned out uh, Andromeda was not a good game. But uh, those three games were coming out roughly within two weeks of each other. 
And there was also a lot of people that were debating at the time whether or not the Switch was going to be a success. Because uh, as popular as Nintendo is now and how, and how big the Switch is, a lot of people doubted the Switch at first. And you gotta remember, Nintendo just came off the Wii U. So sure, it was a Zelda game. And it was a new Nintendo console, but Nintendo was not doing hot at that time. So they were... So I think there was even people saying Andromeda was going to be the biggest of those three games. And, given the circumstances, it wouldn't, you wouldn't be crazy for saying that at the time. And obviously, uh, Zero Dawn also, a lot of people were, un fair enough, skeptical because of... Uh, it was like, oh, it's made by Gorilla, the people that only made first-person first shooter Killzone games? Why are they making an open-world game? An open-world action game? Can they pull that off? Like, there was a lot of doubt. Both Nintendo and Place- or oh, uh, Nintendo and Gorilla, I guess. At that time. So, uh, a lot- uh, Pretty sure a lot of people back then were like, yeah, Andromeda was gonna be the number one game of those three. But uh, that was not how it turned out. And to be fair to Andromeda, compared to other games that have come out since, I don't think Andromeda was that bad. It just wasn't as good as the other Mass Effect games. And graphically, maybe a little outdated compared to other games at the time. Now they're hunting me. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. A lot of people are predicting Elder Scrolls 6, but I still, I would say Horizon 3 is still coming out years before Elder Scrolls 6. But uh, I've, as much as people hated on Andromeda at the time, I've seen a lot of people kind of go back to it and be like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. It's just not the best Mass Effect team. So, I don't know. Elden Ring 2 Ring Hotter. I think you downloaded the wrong video. Uh, <clears throat> People were saying the tradition continued because the Ben West PC release is the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2. I will admit, until Rise of the Ronin had the same release date as Dragon's Dogma 2, I had never heard of Dragon's Dogma before in my life. So, and I, I tend to follow video games quite closely. So I would call that fucking BS. <laughs> like, people are a little too hot on Capcom these days. And also, Dragon's Dogma 2 is only gonna be 30 FPS on console. So that's another game we are just gonna all collectively pretend doesn't exist. Or is PC exclusive? After Starfield's reception, would anyone want ES6? I'm pretty sure people still want ES6. That's where I need to go. And the reason why I say it's still gonna be years and years before we see ES6, like, I think we're gonna be probably a year or two into PlayStation 6 before Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. It's because, as we know from the Bethesda leaks, and they have even said it themselves, main development on Elder Scrolls 6 was not gonna start until Starfield came out. So in other words, they just stopped working on it. They just announced that game way fucking early. Starville is a good game. From what I've seen, it looks like fine, I guess. It just wasn't as big of a splash as people wanted it to be because it was the best. It just seems like a fine, solid game. Stop it. A lot of people enjoyed it, apparently, including you. 
I think a lot of people were just a little bit let down by it. Because it was Bethesda and people have high expectations from for Bethesda. Somehow, even after Fallout 4 and uh, 76, but apparently people still had high expectations. Um, <laughs> apparently it's coming to PlayStation 5. I could see my if it's coming out at a good time, I could honestly see myself buying it PS5. Because from what I've seen, I feel like I could get some enjoyment out of it. But I understand why people are let down by it too. But uh, I guess we'll find out next week when Xbox has to talk about their future. Because uh, that's still a thing that's happening. Yeah, I feel like most people say that, that they play it for, I don't know, 10 hours or something and then it just gets boring. Or even less. I feel like that's what I've heard from the majority of people that said that they didn't like it. Yeah, we'll see. It will be uh, exciting to see what Xbox has to say next week, because, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, 34 is not here right now, I don't think, or resident Xbox fanboy, but uh, it, it's not looking good for Xbox. <laughs> and uh, understandably, a lot of people are spelling doom and gloom with the leaks and the way signal. Phil Spencer worded his announcement and all that, so, yeah, it's not looking pretty. So, but uh, we'll see what they actually say. We will see what they actually say when uh, they show up next week. We don't even have a date for when they're gonna say it and how they're gonna say it. Like, uh, let's go for this island. Like, are they gonna make like a stream? Are they gonna put out a video? Is it just gonna be a blog post about what they're gonna do? Like, how is? That's also the interesting part thing about what Phil Spencer said. That they were gonna talk next week. It's like we don't even know how they're gonna talk. I have to climb up. And given all the things that have come out, like, they have a lot of things to answer. A lot of big questions they need to answer, especially to their fans. So uh, we'll see what they say. We'll see what they say. But uh, in the short, in the short term, if all Xbox games going forward or coming to PlayStation, that'd be cool. I'd love to play a lot of those games on PlayStation. All right, now I just have to reach its head. Because I'm not much of a PC gamer and I'm no incentive to buy an Xbox, so it would literally just mean more games for me. <laughs> If all of a sudden I can play Halo, Gears of War, for an answer. all the Oblivion games, Hellblade 2 maybe? If all of those games all of a sudden comes to PlayStation, I would be pretty happy about that. But uh, I don't know what it says about Xbox future, but who knows? They do seem to be in a bit of a bit of pickle at the moment. So I'm very curious to see what they say, and it's really hard to speculate about anything until we actually know what they say, because there's so many different directions their statements could go in. Some really bad for Xbox, 
and defense of Xbox and others would be okay. But if you're a big Xbox fan, it's probably not going to be good news no matter what. But it seems unlikely to be the greatest news, at least, that you'll get. But surely not brand new games from wholly owned studios? I mean, according to, I mean, there's a lot of info that's come out, so some of the stuff might be a little outdated by now, but my understanding of it is it seems to indicate that we'll, that Xbox will just start releasing, um, um, will just straight up start releasing games on all platforms, including uh, newer stuff. Whether or not they're going to do it on the same day, I don't know, but it does sound like at least within the year of things coming out. But uh, again, there's been so many rumors and talks about it, it's hard to know exactly what is true. So at this point, I'm kind of just... So at this point, I'm kind of just waiting to see what they say next week. I mean, we'll see. I mean, uh, I don't know how much you've looked into the stories, uh, Ali, but it does seem pretty dire. Or it does seem like there's gonna be a big shift. Also, rumors seeming like Xbox is not going to make this another console, which would also be a big change. the run going it's going pretty well fairly smooth so far when we kept that i under the seat i'll tell and she do you need further what are you doing well matisha i don't know ali i've i feel like you should look more into it as a uh, I'm sure people would agree with me in the chat. If you've been following the news that's come out the last two weeks from Xbox, it's... Honestly, it, it, this looks serious. <laughs> Again, I don't think Xbox is going to completely go away. That's not what I'm thinking, but... It does seem like they could completely transition into being more of a third-party publisher going forward and... Have Game Pass. I mean, Game Pass already is their main focus, but probably be the only focus, and then try to get the, the a la carte sales as well on the other platforms. But yeah, uh, I do actually recommend you look into it. Uh, yeah, it's not looking great. Didn't get the soft lock here. Nice. <clears throat> Very nice. You were there. Yeah, that's the mission. It's 
Especially just that treat Phil Spencer sent out. Like, the way he worded it also makes it seem like uh, there's gonna be some big changes coming. we can do right now is just speculate. We just have to wait and see what they say next week. And I'll uh, have my popcorn ready. <laughs> if you know all the context around why he's saying that, Ellie, it's... Again, not, I'm not saying it's apocalyptic. I, some are making it seem that way, but... It does... Make it seem like there's massive changes coming to Xbox. But oh well. If you, um, I don't think I can change your minds by the sound of it. But again, we will see next week. You'll believe in when you see it. Fair enough. Fair enough. And again, I, I don't think it's going to be apocalyptic for Xbox, but I do think there's some truth to them being more just like we're going to put things everywhere and and uh, and that obviously if they say that they have to clarify over for like Xbox gamers what that means for them. It's like, nah, because if all their games are coming everywhere, what is the point to having an Xbox? <laughs> that would be something. But Konami is, I guess, trying to come back into video games with the Silent Hill remix, but. Um, and a few other things here and there, but. But uh, people don't seem too hot on that Silent Hill 2 remake. Which I can't understand, given I'm here. given how it looks in comparison to like Dead Space and Resident Evil remakes. When I that oh meet me. But I I don't know. I've never played Silent Hill. I don't. You want to help? I really care about it. So. What are you? All right. I don't know, I just have seen so many people talk about it and most of them seem quite disappointed in it. Could you spare a moment to speak of the final thing? So, yeah. But yeah, no matter what, in terms of this news, just I guess to wrap it up, no matter what, some big changes are definitely coming to Xbox. What they're gonna be, we will see next week. Because again, all we can do now is really just speculate and... and speculation is probably not gonna do much for us anyway. You won't I try. I and there's also just so much noise about Xbox right now. It's also out to make exactly out what is true or not. What? A car arm part. And yet, I am. If you. I have. I was. Though. You'll. Be and again, short term as a PlayStation gamer, if the games come to every platform like Xbox going forward and they become more of a third party public. And sure, that's a good thing short term for PlayStation, but losing a direct competitor to PlayStation in the high-end console market 
<coughs> obviously it's gonna suck long term because uh, the PlayStation doesn't have any direct competition. That's if I don't burn in the sun. That's not great. <laughs> exactly, junk. <laughs> Gotta speculate on everything. <coughs> Fifteen hundred dollars and be hundred dollars each. Jeez. You know, at that point, I'm probably gonna go to Nintendo and just stick with them then. <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, I guess PC would be the cheap option then. <laughs> All of a sudden, PC is the cheap option. Whoa, there. At that point, I'll probably invest in a good gaming PC then. About time you showed up. More Clint Hawks incoming. Granted, I probably would have a good gaming PC by now. But yeah, money is tight and More PC prices coming. keep going up. Follow up. So now I'm also just playing into the meme of being a pure console player. <laughs> more than I more than I really am. <laughs> that seems to put more I'll uh, you don't But if things ever turn around financially, I probably would invest in just having a really good PC, because why not? And I did say, like, back in 2021, I actually had a plan. 2021, early 2022. I'll see you later, Millie. And thanks for the luck. Back in, like, late 2021, 2022, my plan was actually to upgrade my PC and uh, like get a really up-to-date PC for gaming um, but uh, that was also around the time all the PC prices literally just skyrocketed which was really annoying and uh, I was hoping eventually prices would chill out a bit after the whole crypto thing happened, but now the new buzzword is AI, so PC prices stay up. What's my current PC specs? I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I couldn't even tell you. I don't know. What my specs are, I just know they're pretty bad. I'm here. Yeah, well, I I'm not. No, no. I'll make now. I seem make. I'd like back to burn. But yeah, my PC is not that great. I think when I got it, it technically qualified as a gaming PC, but PC is I've gotten a lot better since then. <laughs> so yeah. It gets the job done for what I need it to get done, so yeah. I'm fine. But uh, at some point I'll probably invest in getting... And at this point it's probably... I, I don't think it's worth upgrading my PC, so... Which was my initial plan. So at this point it's probably just be buying a brand new one. With some high-end specs at the time. 
Probably not highest end, it depends on the finances, but at some point, yeah. New Game Plus for Spider-Man 2 on March 7th. Uh, so literally a month from now. Cool, cool. Poor P. Dot. He's gonna have to balance Spider Man 2 and uh, Forbidden Western. <laughs> Might make it easier to get some world records then. Yeah, I also felt, I guess, as you're talking about Mario for a second. <laughs> SM just means Super Mario in my head. <laughs> but yeah, Spider Man. <laughs> Not seven, cool. I would assume beat up would be interested in New Game Plus. At least get a couple of runs in for for, for Ben West PZ. But obviously these last couple of days he's been so busy with Last of Us 2. It's been fun to watch him play uh, the no return mode. But that mode actually looks like a ton of fun. We'll get around to it some point. Uh, more time. Since it's only a ten dollar upgrade, I can just buy it at any time and try it out. That's off to beat up on diver diversifying a lot when it comes to speedrunning. <laughs> the thing I always say I want to do, but here I am still playing Horizon. And enjoying every moment of it. <laughs> What's up, uh, Magic? You on an airplane heading to Florida? What did you do to deserve such a punishment? Sounds like you are. Sounds like you've been selected for some sort of hunger, hunger Games thing. <laughs> wrong way. Wrong way, dude. Alright, hunting ground time. Gotta remember to loot a thunder dog, yeah? Be, you I pick a for the. You can. Oh, I, all right. Yeah, I don't remember to do the thunder show. Is there a good Florida? What is the good Florida? Disney World? Hello? Florida is still the biggest meme in the US in terms of states. Because I feel like I'm still seeing a lot of Ohio memes. I don't know if Ohio has kind of overtaken them in terms of being the biggest meme state. And New Jersey? People don't really seem to care about New Jersey these days. Like they used to back in the day. Back in the day. Texas is trying to compete for it now. I feel like there was also for a moment of time where California was kind of it, but uh, that also doesn't really seem to be the case anymore. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Should have gotten blood for Brenda's well. 
now that we have looted this one, we don't have to worry about getting a thunder draw. Or when the fuck we have it. Still need one for the trophy, but we'll get that one from all mother. Because the trophy is not needed as early as the other things. You can oh I very Alright, last round. Let's come and see how pretty it is, fair enough. It's kind of like how Australians have uh, tricked everyone into thinking it's really deadly because of the animals. But in reality, it's a really awesome place. And the animals are not really like an issue at all. Pace going. Into ambush. That's over with. What are you doing? So, uh, right. Tell me. No. Her no. Sir. Shut. Yeah. Oh. Come on. By the way, is all that stuff that I still don't understand still happening in Texas? Because there was all that thing that happened like what two weeks ago. It was like Here. new story. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I still don't understand what exactly is happened. This Shadow Karja territory? But people were talking about Civil War 2.0 and Texas seceding and yada yada yada. Yeah, true joke. State and federal government are fighting over border control. Hmm. I guess that's the layman worsen of explaining what's happening. Fair enough. But just imagine how fucked Texas would actually be if they managed to secede from the US. Just imagine what a desert-like country with a lot of oil being right next to the U.S. Just imagine what would happen to that country. Uh oh, what's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. A couple of decades too early. Yeah. Something hit these We're a little ahead of the timeline, which is uh, probably should worry us a bit. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Looks and maybe like that's the secret the weapon uh, there, that Texas will deploy if it ends in civil war. Power cell. They will have the wings of the ten to fight for them. Horizon law playing out in real life. Isn't that fun? <laughs>
I think I'll be a shutdown coats, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the problem is in terms of the law we are supposed to have a major climate crisis before these things happen you know so I feel like uh, I feel like there's something not adding up here unless the major climate crisis is about to come out of nowhere <laughs> As you know we have first we have the major climate crisis then we have the clawback and then the robots and all the warfare starts happening. And then we all die. You know, that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> Day 11. We have made Apollo so we have made Apollo so effective that it will include everyone's uh, browser history for everyone to look up in the future. <laughs> Leave some treats for Travis, but you gotta remember Travis preferred the physical kind of, uh, you know, browser history. <laughs> so Vegas turning four next month, sure. If anyone watching this that has a, a roughly four-year-old daughter with red hair, let us know. We're gonna need her in the future. <laughs> My FBI agent just listening listening to the stream right now has just heard me ask for people to reach out if they had a four-year-old daughter. <sighs> I'm gonna hear a knock on my door soon. I have a feeling. It's gonna be a knock on my door anytime soon, guys. If the stream randomly crashes, you know what happened. <laughs> you know what happened. I got raided by the FBI. Looks like a little left a few things behind. I guess she was doing some gardening. Travis won't be investing in Apple Beyond. No, he will be the one that, like, becomes a criminal user. Has there been any... By the way, with the people walking around with those um, Apple VR headsets, have there been any stories yet of somebody just yanking it off somebody's face and stealing it? Because, like, people are... From what I'm seeing in pictures and all that, like, people are literally walking around with those free on... What? How, how much expense is like $4,000 hardware on their face? And they're practically blindfolded while wearing it. I feel like you could really easily steal it. So surely there's been the stories of people doing that. Tie up a boat that isn't here. Maybe she took the boat <laughs> to that island over there. Looks like I'm in I feel like that's just a, like, a lot of Darwin awards will be given out because of these Apple headsets. Especially with the people driving using them. Like, come on, man. I already get, like, insanely infuriated when I see somebody using their phone while driving. So now seeing somebody wearing those things while driving, if I see that in real life, that would be so But just seeing the videos of people doing it's like, God. Yeah, it has passed through vision, but still, you know. But you're still putting things in front of your face if you're wearing it. And yeah, there is latency because it's not like it's pass through vision, but it's through cameras. Hey, we're ten minutes ahead. Let's go. 
But yeah, apparently the latency is like really slow, but still latency. Oh, I did, I did actually see one story. There was one story that apparently there was a guy that uploaded a video of him using the Vision Pro while flying a private aircraft, like a small Cessna plane or whatever, I think it was. And uh, there was a story, apparently the, uh, what are they called, FAA, because apparently it was in the US. I think it's called FAA, whatever, the flying regulator. He's apparently looking into it and he's, he's probably fucked. Because the video literally shows him wearing it while flying, <laughs> and he uploaded it himself. So somebody is probably going to jail and losing their pilot's license. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> All just for a few clicks on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Barrel's been moved recently. Yeah, I feel like yeah, at least here in Denmark, I don't know how it is in other countries. I feel like police usually does a good job of getting people with their phone. At least when they're around, but still. I mean, it just it's just so fucking selfish and disrespectful to use your phone while driving. You know? It just pisses me off every time I see it. Especially just the amount of like videos on the internet or like YouTube videos, like people have edited YouTube videos uploaded where they're showing like their friend driving or sometimes even themselves, themselves driving and oh, using fruit. a phone at the same time. It's just yeah, like, come the fuck though. on, dude. Oh, look, the thief dropped more fruit for me to follow. I can see it in all this grass. Yeah, I don't know if it's illegal enough to give him jail time, but the pilot license is definitely gone. Uh, I know that uh, I've seen enough FIA investigations into stuff like this to know that uh, they don't take anything even remotely like right. There was also that YouTuber that crashed his plane on purpose. I'm pretty sure he got some jail time. Not long, but he got some jail time. And a massive fine. I don't know if you guys remember that story it was a big story i think two years ago there was a youtuber that intentionally crashed his plane for views like he jumped out of the plane with a parachute because he just so happened to be flying with a parachute that day uh, actually no i don't need to flame him here i'm gonna get far enough away before i need him must have climbed up common sense isn't common exactly Oh, it's for obstructing investigation? Oh, never mind then. Oh yeah, he destroyed the evidence, that's true. Great. People finally stopped calling that is true. And now it's savage. Wait, he's gotten his license back? Are you serious? What the fuck? Okay, I take back everything I said about the FAA. Never mind then. was talking about somebody else. Are we? A lot of things happen in the chat. Wait, I already have the fox skin, don't I? Yeah, we have the fox skin. It's the rabbit skin, isn't it? I would actually like my mount to catch up here. Mm. 
He has his license back? That's fucking insane to me. Like, if you do something like, like straight up in, intentionally, in my opinion, that should just be like, you. that's revoked for life kind of situation. Because that is the most inexcusable thing you could do. It's fair enough if he doesn't get jail time. Like, whatever, I suppose, but, like, the license should be gone forever, if you ask me. That sounds like it's too easy. The worst things about all these situations is they usually never end up hurting themselves. It's always others. It goes on. Especially with the whole phone and the car thing. Back to the main quest. Time for Eclipse Face. Oh. I know the handholds. What we said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right. What now? Can't wait. That's what. Let's see what's through here. Collective machines. I mean, I've just lost all respect for them, to be honest, sir. Because I haven't read so many stories about how serious they were in the past and all that, and heard how strict they were with stuff like this, and now I hear about that guy getting his life back. That's, uh... My respect for them is definitely at an all time low. And, uh, we have a probably likely not gonna come back. The ground here looks churned up. Yeah, that's the fucked up. <laughs> Seriously. The gate's barred. We're getting past them. You'll have to find another way. <laughs> ah yes, let's only punish thing punish people when it actually goes really I wrong instead of you know, let's just like, let's just make safety regulations after somebody gets horrifically killed. Type of mentality, right? Everything here is raw. Just get to the module and just keep moving. Safety regulations are always written in blood. No way. Keep moving. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Ah, uh, yeah! Eloy, grab the thing! Dang it. I blame the camera shake. Ah, uh, that's maybe my own fault. I should never die there. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Yeah. Are you kidding me? And I do think that's a problem, because I do feel like I don't like the idea of punishments only being dealt out when somebody hurt when something really bad actually happens. But I still feel like intentionally crashing a thing like that, you should probably not be a pilot for the rest of your life. You know. I feel like that's fair. Watch out, there's more ahead. What if? Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. <laughs> that was unfortunate. If I could toss this focus in the middle of someone's mind. But we both need it. Same all it is. And zero dawn. Let me just 
just update myself. What machines are we missing? Rockbreaker, Behemoth, Stormbird, Deathbringer. Let's scan the Deathbringer. Pretty cool. Three right? Oh, four. Rockbreaker makes sense, Beam makes sense, Stonebird, and Deathbringer, yeah. Deathbringer will get it all, not anymore. Technically, I could just get it at Hades at the very end, but. Uh, just to easily keep track of my percentage when we get towards the end of the run, I'll get it at all, mother. For my own sanity's sake. Given how those runners. You're going down. That's true, Ashwell. I feel like in a situation like that, the FAA should be able to be a public defendant. But death was costly. The one on the cliff face? Yeah. I mean, there was also some shenanigans painting out the metal flowers, so that was part of it too. Oh, capture cut. Are you okay? It's under attack by machines. I think my heads are cutting out there for a second. I don't like our chances. You want to tell Warren your name when you back down? Let's take our chances. a bit delayed. We'll fix that in a sec. It is the capture card. It was a machine lure. We don't know how they got it. Rosgrun Warden out oh, tell heaven three none bot. So you know I so if I what ra and uh, stupid capture card. Don't you just love it when everything in your setup is breaking at the same time? A <whistles> minute injured party? Oh, okay, fair enough. There's no way it needs to be on this road. I mean, I don't know how the legal system works in the U.S. at all, so bear with me. But I can still give my opinion as to what I feel like should have happened in a situation like that. I'm not saying he should have gone to jail forever, but I feel like there should have been some jail time for crashing intentionally. Regardless of whether or not you could prosecute him, I feel like that should be a thing. 
Up, up, ay, ay, ay. What is my movement, dude? Focus. Now I'm starting to make dumb mistakes right now. Let's not get into a slum up bad gameplay now. So. What do you know? And it's empty. Spear girl! Why do I bother? No shame in taking cover. So yeah. So in my opinion, if it was up to me to deliver quote-unquote justice in a situation like this, he should have permanently lost his access to his license. And he also should have uh, also have gotten some jail time. Not only for the evidence thing, sure that it should be jail time too, but definitely also for uh, intentionally crashing. That would be my opinion if things were to be just. legal system and yada yada is complicated so yeah I am aware of that oh, there. I thought I'm not really talking soldier. from a legal the perspective as Empire to what, should, what legally should happen because no, obviously what no matter, legally is, should happen is not always equal to what you're gonna be really disappointed yeah that's why I have my toys to distract me from the pain. Not yet, little acrobat. Sublex, what how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Still alive. We need bro back. Yeah, I should have on fire. Oh, you're a trickster. But if I wasn't doing 100% speedruns every day, I might have time to like do other things. <laughs> Such as uh, fixing commands. So how about we uh, how about we finish this hundo run today and actually get a good run in this category so we don't ever have to do it again? I guess he died <laughs> doing what he loved. Why do I shoot my strata when I get off? Uh, it, it basically gives me a chance to get a better mount spawn. Just a short end shot. But also, because the mount always acts up in speedruns, it also gives me great satisfaction. Hopefully that answers the question. I mean, there are cases where you can crash intentionally, like for a movie, stunt, whatever. But obviously that needs to be approved, coordinated, yada yada yada, and all that first place. Got their you shouldn't just be allowed to wake up one day and do it. For YouTube. For YouTube. slots this time well would you look at what the next split is it's the sun king split where we forgot that last time so i haven't had the opportunity to create it yet <laughs> speaking of the sun king split that's also where i'm gonna take my speed run break after we visit the hunter slash and sun king. <laughs> not gonna forget it today in no way jose First lots, then king, then break.
Kind of remember to finish Curious Proposal. Eh? Uh, if you want to see all my speedrun times, just scroll below the scroll below the stream. They all listed down there, and if it says WR, it means it's a world record. My family might still yes, be alive. I do have a few of those. And you're going to stand here and do nothing? You've lost <clears> a dozen patrols. Why don't you brag more about the speedrun? Oh. No, it's just against my nature, okay? Grown up in Denmark, we have the Yandelon here. Oh, you're not no. allowed to brag about things or pretend you're better than the crowd. Oh, for now. Oh, Tem I can tell that I'm I'd better. Nice. Gold. Back in the lead again. And another elevator right here. And of course. Gotta go to the lodge. Did you hear me, everyone? I'm going to the lodge. <laughs> Except about how humble I am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Watch the game crash now and then I forget it again. <laughs> Okay, let's not jinx it. And by the way, after I go to the large here, I'm gonna be taking my speedrun break. So in Horizon Zero Dawn speedruns, we are allowed to take breaks in 100% speedruns. And basically we have some break rules. You're even allowed to take sleep breaks, but I usually only take the small breaks, which you're allowed to take a 30 minute break in your speedrun. And I'm gonna be... The break rules are more complicated than that, but all you need to know for this run is I'm allowed to take a 30 minute break in my run and I'm gonna do that after I'm done in the lodge here and then after I'm done with the Sun King. No. And the reason why we allow breaks and speedruns is simply because, well, it's not healthy to play a game for nine hours straight. There we go, we went to the lodge. Cool. Now Deadliest Game should be activated. And to the Sun King. So yeah, gonna be take see that deadliest game. Didn't forget it. Cool. If you're wondering why we're talking about that so much, I'm I forgot it yesterday. And that's why the run yesterday failed. But this time I remember. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna take my uh, 30 minute break. It's probably only gonna be 25 minutes after I talk to the Sun King here. So. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. So if you're watching live on stream, that would probably be the time if you need to go get some food, need to go for a walk. Get the dog out for a piss, whatever. Whatever you need to do, now would be the time to do it. And of course, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, because this run was actually successful and got uploaded to YouTube, which it will be, because I'm not gonna fail anything today, then, uh, then if you're watching on YouTube, you can simply just skip ahead, and then the run continues. <laughs> What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I don't think either of them are okay, to be honest. I, need I know. Who I'm a rock. <clears throat> so yeah, gonna take my break here. I'll be gone for roughly 25 minutes. And... Pause. So I'm gonna be gone for roughly 25 minutes. What time is it now? It's 21.43. So yeah, I'll be gone for 25 minutes. Again, watching on YouTube, you can just skip ahead and the run continues. If you're watching on Twitch, live here on Twitch, as you should be, because watching live is way better. Then, uh, I don't know. I'm sure you can find something to do. But anyway... I'm gonna take my break now, guys. So I uh, appreciate you for watching. And when we come back, we'll, or when I come back, we'll finish this run. So uh, yeah, be right back. Thank you. 
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> I am back, ready to finish the run. <clears throat> so let's get after it. Let's continue. Ugh. Hope you guys had a good break too. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so let's get going again in three, two, one, go. Some Maserat are applied to the city guard the other day. You didn't fall asleep, so that's good. Nice. <laughs> Might be here for the end of the run then. <laughs> But yeah, we still got a little under three hours to go, most likely. So let's keep it up. Gotta play well here these last three hours as well to get a good run. So, because uh, best possible time. Still below nine hours. And it uh, would be a dope to get that sub nine hour run. But it uh, can make too many mistakes or it will rise quickly. But uh, let's just stay focused. Get a good run, and this time we did go to the lodge, so we're good on that. Didn't make that mistake that we did yesterday, so that's awesome. Still need to get a rabbit skin, gotta keep that in mind. Still have yet to get the rabbit skin. But we still got plenty of trouble to do in the run, so... <clears throat> so, uh. Oh, yeah, uh, prediction. <laughs> Thanks for starting the prediction. I assume you did it, Greedy. But, uh, yeah, predict your points. Will this be the okay. sub nine hour run on that? Thanks for that. Put up your points now. Scan the rock breaker here. And also gotta remind myself that I also am missing the death breaker scan. But we'll get that out of all mother. Luckily, the good thing with the best possible time as well to keep in mind is every time we get a gold, it also goes down. There's still plenty of gold splits we can get. Oh, take me. Just like that one. But every split that's not a gold split, best possible time goes up. So we'll see how the balance keeps throughout the run. <laughs> How the balance is kept for the run, I should say. Still a long way to go, though. Got a super itching health right now. I'll have to turn down as we continue.
to Robin the Rich, then on to Tolnik. Kind of start healers out before the Tolnik. How's the prediction going? It seems like most people are believing. That's awesome. Whoa, Lots of believers. There are at least most points on believers. Technically, it could just be one person with a lot of points. <laughs> Willing to put up a lot of points. It looks like there's more believers than doubters, so that's always comforting. for healers off and then to the top. Rabbit skin. Calm, calm. <clears throat> Just gotta keep my eyes peeled for those rabbits. But should see a lot of rabbits in the last two and a half hours of this run, so it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Sunfall. The Mad King drowned Summer Palace. A bulwark of Carja might against the howling for Christ. Thanks for the history lesson. What? Her name is it where his godly perhaps well last Let's hope this tall leg is in a good spot. We should be able to see him from far away. That might not be good. I'm gonna be able to get there in time. I'm picking up another signal. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make I must the be one straight ahead here. Damn, I think I might actually have to wait for him. I just need to get on the tall next head. Up here, that sucks. At least when we go up here, we at least gonna be dropped off in a more convenient location. No, we do have to wait from here. I should be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. So. A little unfortunate with the tall neck line up here, but uh, most of the tall necks in this run so far has been really good. Okay, they're heading so back. It's fine. Did I eat? 
Uh, I had some fried rice. End up doing the break. Yeah, if only you could fly. Maybe in the remake of Zero Dawn. Not a double chase barrel, indeed. But I had some fried rice during the break. different to it. I'm indifferent to it. Well, I'm not over one on it. But I can, but I'm definitely leaning to what shouldn't. Because, obviously, the Forbidden West story wouldn't make sense where... The flying ability was literally gifted to you. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, this game wasn't built around flying either, so it's probably best just to leave it up. And the reason why I'm still saying I'm indifferent to it is because eh, it still would be a little bit cool <laughs> to be able to do it on this map, even if it messes up the story. But uh, again. That's probably just because we'll, for me, I will always have the original, but if somebody played the remake first, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Which a lot of people likely will the first time they play Horizon or Zero Dawn will be uh, the remake. Are you... I, but I can't... The, what? No, my re... <sighs> There's... And that's not... It is... Those, as if I... If I don't... Oh, but I'll be... Yeah, even Shield Ring would better in a lot of things. Like, a remake to me, preferably, should just be better graphics and lots and lots of quality of life and improvements. Like, one thing I really hope they don't do is give this game similar combat to Forbidden West. Not that I hate the combat in Forbidden West, mind you, I just don't want it. I just don't. I uh, just don't want to see Valor searches and resonate resonator stuff and all that. Like it's cool in Forbidden West, but keep it. Shouldn't be hard to find. Just hope I see it before it sees me. I'm 
ready. Gotta be. I don't know. But then again, also when I think about combat-wise, for somebody who likely is still going to play both the original and a remake version, I'm also just thinking it would make the game feel different from the original, which I wouldn't mind. <laughs> so yeah. You know? So even as somebody who's played both, it would make them feel more original. Uh, I had a bit of a poor angle there. Especially because I'm obviously going to speedrun both remake and original. Have them feel a little bit different from each other with these. So that would be for selfish reasons, but. Of strong feelings about it because again the original will always exist and you can always just play that and no matter what they do in the remake i'm sure it will be totally fine and fun to play it might just be a little different and that's okay because at the same time it probably also would be a little boring if it's just same game better graphics you know <laughs> I mean, I have two disc versions of Cyrodon. <laughs> Both a regular and a complete edition. Probably could have whistled for a mount here. Uh, these are the things I would do if I was thinking straight. Let's stop making dumb mistakes and focus again. I have your on what? Don't worry, it's intentional that I don't complete the quest there. We'll complete it when we come back to talk to Vanasha after the sun ring. Idea, but what's the point? I've got all the don't worry, I didn't forget to finish it. It is intentional. The sun ring. Proud tradition. No need now to panic. Get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> but yeah, I bought both of this. I have the regular zero on version and then a, a complete edition on this. If you can also own a digital version. Uh, Zero Dawn, and I obviously also have Zero Dawn on PC. Even if it means having a listen of the house. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. The other... I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? 
<clears throat> you tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Because, yeah, I'm sure when the apocalypse happened, well, the one thing you were worrying yeah, about is your game collection. <laughs> Zero Dawn. As we well, found uh, it. random. <laughs> Are you would please take a seat and wait for your... Please proceed into viewing room one <laughs> for an important... What? what was this place? A holographic theater. CDN1 data intact. Initiating playback. That, that doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let I can pass them. Undetected. Spread out! Data points. You're going to move! Kill it! What is this? Initiating playback. <laughs> well, I don't even think I have a bunker, to be honest. I'm not really sure of the whole idea of just surviving in a bunker. Intruder! Long term is whatever you do that preferable. Is there another route? But uh you do you, I suppose. One. But uh, if the apocalypse really were to happen, and it would be that Listen, bad, you would have to hide in a bunker. Here. Statistically, you're probably not going to be the one that makes it to Let's the bunker. <laughs> that did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. This is it. More eclipse. Careful now. <clears throat> Welcome to Hades. Looks like the only way onwards. Cradle facilities. But also people who actually doomsday prep and have these quote-unquote bunkers or all these provisions or whatever they have stored up for an apocalypse. Like surely if you are the type of person that actually does that kind of thing. Like deeply inside you or maybe not even deeply inside you but surely there's also like just a little part of you that just kind of wants the apocalypse to happen kind of thing right? If you don't make at that list, it was that I you can ever you're in all the heck it doesn't I do you you've got you've and then this the air oh, after round I will what you're in it thank you know your fucking surely you would sit there and hope it actually becomes useful right? weapons. my weapons are up on the platform I guess that's similar to how Biddle was in the last of his TV yeah, show where he's kind of like he was right <laughs> moment you watched the last of his TV show Another hit, and that pillar will come down. It's down. I just did the gummy worm and salt. Interesting. The one that I told you so much. The only reason why <clears throat> the only reason why they have the bunker to begin with is just so that they can survive with other people and say I told you so. <laughs> Doesn't matter when. 
You don't get to be right if you die before the apocalypse stop. Hey! That's not how it works. If someone had actually been trying to make it happen. I mean, you're not wrong. Are you not entertained? Of course, if you Somebody do. had just watched Gladiator yeah, when I'll they animated this. that scene. The <laughs> yeah. I was like, we didn't do that in the game. That's true. <laughs> that bunger did go to waste if, uh, if it wasn't for the glitch. You just have a counter or a shelf filled with a filled with a lot of tins. Oh, that's not weird, but guess we're not using the repel. Well, that was a lot riskier than it needed to be, but uh, we got down, I guess. We did get down. Just not that smoothly, but we did get down. <laughs> I'm sure I've done. He could. What about what will use? Useful things, hunters. No. Small shot. One. See right here. We finish helos over there. Just lines up to being closer to Manash. Anyway, on to Trader's Bounty. Lots of tin beans, tomatoes, and dried pasta and rice. I mean, I have a shelf similar. There's not a lot of beans. Because, gotta hate beans. Or, what most people consider beans. Obviously, there are many different types of beans, and some of them are really good. But when you say beans and the bean you think of, that's the one I hate. Beans are the healthiest thing you can eat. Well, it should taste better. Taste all. Six variants of beans. Three dead trees, just like the Masha said. Let's see if it came from here.
Like, for example, I love uh, edamame beans, beans, for example. Those are amazing. Like, quote-unquote regular beans? No. No, no. But edamame beans are amazing. By the way, the prediction is about to end, so get your points in now. Or change your bet. If you uh, don't feel confident about it, with all these gold splits coming in. Food scraps. I'll bet Uvid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch him. <laughs> Quantity accident. Low. I mean, to be fair, I always have at least two packs of toilet paper in my house. Because that is just the worst thing to run out of. Dead machine. Uvid's been hunting. Everything useful has been stripped. Uvid's been gathering components. So I always have one that's open and two that is not open. When one empties, I make sure to buy another. I really, really hate running out of it. <laughs> and also, every, every time I see toilet paper on sale, I tend to buy a lot, so that also helps. No they thought that you. I what? She's coming for us! Right. Some good shooting here. Move in! We'll send the rest as soon as they arrive! It's up to you now, man! Rally! We can still. Keep up the attack! We still got another squad on the way! That won't be the last. Beautiful. Awesome shooting. Stash supplies at the Um, we don't have Costco now. Actually, funny enough, we talked about Costco the other day, and I learned about it. <laughs> Up and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. Like, box, box stores similar to Costco does exist, but, uh... So they woke up. But, uh, usually they're, like, for businesses only. <laughs> if you own a business, you can get access to Look out! To your left! Good shooting. <laughs> Five gallons of mayonnaise. I mean, mayonnaise does last a long time. But yeah, as somebody who lives alone, I don't think I would ever shop at a box store. <laughs> I mean, there's some of the things that you can get in bulk at a box store that is really nice. But... Like, shopping everything else that would expire quickly, it's, that would just be... a waste on somebody like me. That's the last of the marvels. Beautiful shooting right now. And uh, let me just place the marker here so we know where we need to go. After the quest is done. Will you come with me? <gasps> Empty toilet paper roll collection, love.
This you won't know be you easy. can throw them out, Bahamas right? still has his <laughs> personal guard. Unless you're planning to... I mean, you are a cosplayer, so they could be useful to making something in the future, I suppose. <laughs> Across there and we'll have him. Yeah, for business or if you have a very large family, like... Take the fight to them! Then I, then I can totally see it, yeah. I mean, I shopped at a box store when my mom had a restaurant. <clears throat> but that was mainly usually only for restaurant stuff. Yeah, that was the thing you guys told me about the other day, that apparently the Costco store what has, like, really good, uh, had, like, really good concessions food. So that's awesome. Hey, what was it you talked about the other day? When, for some reason, Costco came up the other day when we were doing another hundo run as well. Oh, yeah, it was the hot dog thing. You guys said they have a super cheap hot dog, and it apparently doesn't taste bad, even though it's super cheap. But uh, super cheap hot dogs. Gotta be careful with those. Ikea, uh, yeah, we also talked about Ikea, funny enough, because I guess we talked about these store stores that have, like, food. Like, I'm not really a huge fan of Ikea's hot food. If, you know, it's cheap, so, you know, it's fine because of that. But, like, Ikea's, like, baked goods and dessert stuff is top tier. Like, definitely go and get, like, cinnamon buns at Ikea. Like, their cinnamon buns are... Absolute fire. Ufit is a lucky, lucky man. <laughs> There's a Netflix documentary on ha Casco? Oh. Ah, fuck. Ah, dang it! Why didn't I not play it safe there? I'm stupid. Well, shit. Alright. Now it's serious time. Fucking focus now, dude. That was embarrassing. <sighs> Sorry, but really annoyed me that probably cost me a minute and a half if not two minutes all because I decided not to play it safe I'm stupid Just get a little extra hotter now to get the sub nine hour run, but it's still possible. So let's stay focused here. This is one silly mistake. Yeah, I don't get why people get so up in arms about the or uh, talk so heavily about IKEA meatballs. I guess it's the most iconic food, but they're not that good. Like I guess they are. Just like any other cheap meatball you could like buy in a store, so. But uh, I feel like they get way more praise than they ever deserve. Not such a 
to look for his agent in the town's marketplace. I don't know, maybe they taste differently in other places. Or depending on the country, but I do feel like they're a little overhyped. Compared to especially compared to other like other IKEA food or just stuff like that. It's just here in Scandinavia we have high standards for meatballs. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah, maybe that's why it's more special because it's like, like meatballs like that you can find everywhere here. So I guess it's not special to us. Then to Bryn. This mount here is literally one shot. Exactly, it's a Also, they're relatively easy to make and you can even make the I don't know the English word for it but like the meat base thing that you use to make them you can even make that like in a long time in advance freeze it or whatever and just always have like good meatballs ready to go and meatballs is also one of those things that taste good when you reheat it as well some meatballs even taste better when they're reheated. Now there's no more RNG stuff we need to worry about for the rest of the run. So that's good. Now we can just focus on going fast. Also really curious to see how much time I lose on the split because of that death. <coughs> but yeah, I don't think it was that. I think at most it was probably a minute and a half that death, death cost me. So yeah. okay. We'll find out when the split is over. Meatballs and convenient protein, exactly. Just make a ton of meatballs and then make some fresh screens on the side every time you want them. Just take them out and heat, reheat them. Like, meatballs are amazing like that. struggling a bit as a student as they say i remember there was times where i would just make like a ton of meatballs and just throw them in a big box in the freezer 
Just like occasionally just take something out of it every now and then. I would always just have some food. Just hope he's okay. Make some greens or some pasta to it. Delicious. Potatoes of it was feeling fancy yeah, sometimes. Yes. The ones you buy? Yeah. They just don't taste good. Again, there's you can make you so good meatballs by yourself. But it just feels like such a shame to buy them. It just tastes so much better when they're not so bad. losing that much time. Yeah, actually no, it was about a minute. About a minute. So could be worse, but still. Looking at the best possible time now. We really gotta focus for the rest of the run here. Because uh, now it's ready in three minutes. But of course if we get gold splits it will go lower. Let's just make sure we play really well for the rest of the run. Some rubies. Stay focused. Let's play well. Let's uh, get that sub nine. It's totally doable if I haven't forgotten anything. And there should still be a good amount of gold splits to get here in the later part of the run. More here. Watch them. One witch. She's. I've got final. She's. Oh, nothing. Are you. I'm the. And no, I prefer my meatballs. I'd say meatballs here in here in Denmark comes in all different sizes. If you probably asked for like standard meatballs, they're smaller than the big tennis ball Italian ones, but, but they're also not like mini. Um, like what would be what would be like something to compare it to? Again, they vary a lot in size, but but. Uh, And 
depending on who make them and how you prefer them and all that. But uh, I, nobody's making them like tennis ball size though. <laughs> how you describe it? I prefer mine to be big enough, big enough that I can just about eat it in one bite, if you know what I mean, without it being awkward. Even though I probably still cut it in two. <laughs> Swedish meatballs, they're usually, they're usually round and the same size. Danish meatballs are usually flat, I would say. That's their alarm signal. Better keep them off it. There's people in those cages. Look out! But yeah, the Swedish ones are a little smaller than ping pong balls normally, I would say, and then, yeah. And obviously, completely round. Well, we don't call them meatballs in Danish. <laughs> That's just the only English word that exists for meatball. But in Denmark, there's probably like, I don't know, three, four, five different types of meatball that all have a different name. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's a similar thing in Italy. Bring a scan here, drop the zone, and then it's pointing. Just since I'm second guessing myself, Rabbit Fox Sport. I just wanted to double check that we did actually have all of them. Because again, just a friendly reminder in a no fast roll run, you can't quickly fix a mistake. So, whenever I'm in doubt, better check. Better safe than sorry.
Factory's on fire. They embrace them. The watchtower's burning, but the Sentinels had time to warn the tribe. Go. I'll do what I have to. Get out of this. There's one on the other side. Move, mount, please. Double check, we have all machines now. 26, yes. No need to think about those either. Jaw, right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. Uh-oh. <laughs> Laurel and Sona. They're still alive. <laughs> but is a cricket ball bigger than a tennis ball? Because I actually don't know. Wasn't that the discussion? She out by the have you because what she exhale talk about. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? 
Slightly bigger. Gotcha. I guess the obvious question now is what is the biggest sports ball then? <laughs> For an official sport. Basketball? Basketball is pretty big, but surely there's something bigger. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to the I assume basketball is the biggest of like case? mainstream sports. The dream of Apollo. If you want to put it that way. Well, there probably is some weird sport where they have a humongous ball. Because of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? No, uh, basketball is bigger than soccer ball. Interesting. Basketball is bigger than the website catch up. Maybe we aren't meant to know. Look out below! I don't know, is dodgeball an official sport? I feel like that's something you only ever hear people do in gym class. I don't know if there's official tournaments or leaks for dodgeball. Would be pretty fun if there is, but uh, I've never heard of it. in Dutch balls. I don't think there's an official side for that size for that. They probably vary a lot if there's no regulations for from like an official sport or something. Largest Olympic ball is definitely is basketball. Mm. Yeah. Makes sense. Red light. Um, these devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. There. Fifth. I just need to slot it for this too. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe Swash. Get each bit. Mm. Check yeah, those are the really small. The armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power protect us. We need to install these cells. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. 
It's all powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code. Did it. Let's have a look at that armor. All right. Now let's see what we can do with this material. How's it going? I had a really stupid death after Trader's Bounty. So, definitely can't make any more mistakes if I want to sub 9. <laughs> no problem, Bioshock. Glad it helped. So, run is fine, I suppose, but uh, that stupid death didn't help matters. And uh, yeah, how are you liking uh, the demo so far? I think Greedy said he was gonna play it later. I'm not sure if he's already streaming. But, uh, if he is streaming when I'm done with my stream here, I'm probably gonna tune in and watch. taking the day off stream. Oh. He said at the beginning of this stream today though that he was uh, gonna play the demo later as so I assumed he was gonna stream it. But uh, maybe he's playing it off stream then. Ah, fair enough. Could be he changed his mind or something came up. That is always a possibility. And you I did Mr. Ernest. Definitely gonna be the biggest release of the year so far, and possibly the entire year, depending on what comes out when the rebirth comes. Oh, that's 
Uh, it gives me a better mount spawn. You don't have to kill the mount, you just have to make it aggressive. It just ends up dying because it's story difficulty. But uh, it's simply get, uh, the basic way of explaining it just allows me to get a fresh mount that can spawn from a better location. Because if you're not. Uh, because if you're not far away from the mount when you try to whistle for it, it will try to come. If you're close enough, it will try to come from the location that uh, you left it at. Or, or if you're kind of in between being too far and close enough, then it will try to simulate coming from that location, which might not be the most optimal spawn you want to get. sense. So hopefully that explains it. Kind of nice and zeroed on that we just have disposable mounts, I guess. <laughs> Especially when their their spawn locations here in zeroed on are not the greatest. Luckily, they improved on that in Forbidden West, but compared to other games, eh, still could be better. Still could be better. And as always, when we talk about good mounts, always as always, gotta give the shout. To Ghost of Shima, which still, in my opinion, is the game that has the best mounts. Hands down. Keep quiet now. Please keep in mind I have not played Elden Ring, so I've never experienced that mount. I know a lot of people say the mount in Elden Ring is really good, but I have not played the game and therefore have no opinion on it. <clears throat> Do -do 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 -do. I get Guy Prime again. Now, this time to actually do the quest. It will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted. Not corrupted. But they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Yeah, it's guarded all right. But I can get through this.
Yo, Ash. Thank you so much for the raid. Really hope you had a good stream. You guys are tuning in just towards the end of this Undo run. You need a climbing path What's up, for Tally, me? as well? Army of machines for me to deal with. Thanks for the good luck, appreciate it. And it's a little bit exciting, because as I'm sure you can tell by the best possible time, getting that sub nine hour run is a little bit uh Well, let's just say we need to focus and play really well for the rest of the run, because that best possible time is a little too close, if you know what I mean. It is a mad category. It's not even an official category, it's more of a challenge run. That I'm doing for myself. Yo! Oh yeah, I should probably say that whenever Ash raids me, I guess. <laughs> but thanks for the raid. What were you playing, by the way? <laughs> I guess I should also ask, are you ready for ESA? Oh yeah, you're probably playing Callisto, I guess. For ESA. Trying to uh, trying out the demo of the tribe must survive. Never heard of it, but sounds interesting. Or at least I like that name. Oh yeah, by the way, Tully, hope you are ready for ESA as well with your uh, Alan Wake 2 speedrun. This is Charles Ronson. That actually sounds interesting. Maybe I should check out the demo. <laughs> by the way, since we can't do restart from saves in this run, uh, just to, uh, then uh, we can't do the guy Prime skip, so we have to watch both holograms here. Of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed. So this time we do get to see the sad Enough hologram the here. To detect this so enjoy. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future. We but yeah, thanks so again for the raid and welcome in everyone. Just in the middle of a 100% speedrun of Cyrodon. And uh, with the added challenge to it that I'm not allowed to fast travel, restart from safe, or I'm now intentionally to die. Of the event. But let's just call well, no fast travel for sure. Uh, no, I'm not coming uh, to this ESA. My schedule, unfortunately, was not... Oh, I did not line up well with it. And also financially, I... You don't I'd rather, think. uh, financially, oh, no. uh, also financial okay, reasons, but I'll definitely be at I've summer. I will definitely be at I summer. I'm not gonna lie, I also prefer ESA summer a little bit. Elizabeth, no. Obviously, if we'll I could, I would go to, to both, but, in. you know. It's not gonna happen. This but, uh, close. yeah. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not but like I, this. I'll definitely be at summer. So like I said. Guys, you know me. I'm, I'm no good endings at letting things end. So um, let's not. So uh, happy trails, Liz. <laughs> See you at summer then. Yeah. <laughs> See you around. Yeah. Unless something happens, I'm going to summer. That's for sure. Take care of each other, all right? Yes. <laughs> I'm okay with this. But hopefully nothing will come up. <laughs> I want to go. Such an itchy nose right now. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Hey, Lauren. You, you, That's not you. You would make. No. To get, if it were. You're up. What? I mean, I'm obviously a Horizon fan, so I'm biased, but I still stand by it. 
Horizon music is painfully underrated. Which is a stance I've had since uh, the Game Awards 2022, where Forbidden West wasn't even nominated for nice Best Soundtrack. The back of the crater. Which is absolutely criminal. Like I'm not saying it should have won. Because it was armored. The fact that it wasn't nominated is criminal. I'm on my way. To be fair, I think God of War's Ragnarok won, won soundtrack of the year that time. To be fair, that is a pretty banging soundtrack. Obviously, I prefer Horizon, but I'm biased. When I opened the hatch, um, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was no outside control. control. Alpha clearance. Alpha clearance. But, uh, what the hell is Omega clearance? But it should at least have gotten an Alpha personnel. At the Sorry very to least. You, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, Let me just take a look at my notes here while uh, the TED Talk okay. is playing. See, see we what got this Borderlands is about. next, and Death from the Skies this, with a Metal Claw, uh, Hammer and Steel, Queen's Gambit. I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. go to Bryn before Queen's. Uh, what I'm trying to say yeah. is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, and 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 women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Uh, they didn't give him Omega Access, he created Omega Access. Apollo has three thousand plus fail safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Yes. It doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. The world um, not a Zaman, let him have it. I forgot. Been a little Try too long you. since I last read the data points in Forbidden West. So my bad. <laughs> Need to uh, before PC version comes out of the video, I need to refresh Four, myself on the data points in that game. I help because I simply I don't know them as well as I do in Zero Dawn. Yeah. So I take. Then I oh. There we go. That's a nice gold split. I need to warn the That's gonna help a little bit with the, was going to the, palace. With the best possible time. Because every time we get a gold, the best possible time gets goes lower. Let's keep it up. Oh, okay, I fought you then. Um, yeah, I don't remember actually. I, I'm pretty sure he made it somehow. So even though he appears stupid, he is still. Well, I mean, he still created the focus of the one. I need to check up with those data points, which I definitely will before. Been was PC.
I'm pretty sure it's uh, the Omega clearance thing is explained in some of the data points in uh, Forbidden West. I just don't remember the details right now. Rod's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Oh, uh, as a regular employee, it can be hard to say no to the CEO. <laughs> you know, the guy that's uh, literally in a position to, you know, fire you or make your work even harder. <laughs> but I get what you mean, Jen. But I can understand why most people would just assume, yeah, let's just give him it. Give him whatever he wants. Mentality.
Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. Shaw was the guy he tortured because he worked for Falcina. <laughs> Anyone hear me? Help! No, we already got the rap. Ravager. Greedy. Oh, by the way, Greedy, you weren't here when I when I asked earlier. Uh, were you? Um, are you gonna stream the demo tonight, or are you just gonna play it off stream? For uh, Final Fantasy. Is there a streaming? I might tune in and watch. Here we go again. You're not off stream. Okay, fair enough then. I'll find somebody else too. Have a look at them. No worries. It's just because you said you were gonna play it early on, then I assumed you meant on stream, but. Fair enough. Because I knew. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't sweat it. Parenting. at the very beginning of the run, I think we did.
It's even worse than the Dolden. Arguably. <laughs> That's like next level adulting. Having to care take care of another living being. Another living conscious being. <gasps> Scary stuff. Here's the Scrounger's campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the village. Duval is behind these lures. Brilliant and dangerous. <laughs> now to bring word back. Exactly, to sir. I guess I'm just gonna repeat what I said at the beginning of the stream. The whole parenting thing question gets a little annoying. It's, uh, when you are 28, 28 year old man and possibly even woman. I can't relate to that, but as a 28 year old man, you that is single. The whole kid question gets brought up a little too much. A little too much. I mean, I'm sure anyone who is probably between. Eh, I don't know when it starts. You'll be the work. Good. But uh, anyone roughly in the mid 20s to probably 40s that doesn't have kids will deal with that question on a daily basis. <laughs> Radiate and only recently people stopped asking. I see. <laughs> After 18 it starts. Okay, I didn't experience that. I feel like the first time I probably experienced that question was... I think it wasn't until I was 25. Maybe 24. Fuck! This happened. 
Come on! What the fuck was that? <laughs> I've never been piled on that bad before. In the story difficulty. Like, holy shit. Oh my god. Getting that sub 9 is getting hot on harder with this shit. Happening. Are you just. He did. No. I don't. I we saw. Alright. Wait, thank Three and one. Love a good old boom. Guys are far away. I'm already losing time. Shit. Ah, if God. You're great. We figured it out. Thanks. You know, collect. God damn it. I don't like how this round is going, guys. Ugh. Come on now. Again, we should be able to build a good amount of splits still in the end game. But I don't like how close that best possible time is right now. It's scary. The last splits here in the last hour of the run. Most of them shouldn't really be that optimized, so it should be possible to squeeze out some go goals. Well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> but oh well. Just gotta focus up for another hour here. Play as best as we can. See what happens.
I got whore clear build. You're not in you might that's all. is waiting for you. The boat's waiting. Go! Cool. Could have been a little cleaner, but I'll take that. Time for the long, unskippable cutscene featuring Menasha and her ex. Exactly a Can't skip this barge, cutscene. Is it? So oh, we well, have to watch it. Vectors Enjoy. Can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? Did somebody say apps? Indeed. <laughs> You've done a good thing. Maybe even a <laughs> war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. We all do, Seth. We all do. The greatest feature on Twitch. Ah, maybe not the greatest feature, but one of the greatest features on Twitch. Just gone. How many years has it been since Chance? I even forgot when it was. It was like half a year where we had them or something like that. Was it before COVID? Nah, probably not. Actually, don't even remember when it happened. <laughs> Definitely before Forbidden West came out, and I almost always, almost also want to say it was before Forbidden Zero Dawn even came to PC. I think I were around in 2020. Edelman, my brother, welcome home. No, wait, because I think I was partner at the time. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. Mm. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word. Law of the Sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. 
Wait, was it right before Forbidden West? Really? West setting this up and the red Don't remember it being that close to Forbidden West. That doesn't sound right. Paid, right? Hmm. You'll be lucky if I let you live. At all. I mean, if I you looked it up, it might be the case. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks. I promise. So I guess it's been two years. Jesus. Alright, let's finish summon shadow here. Imagine living anywhere else. Don't say it's no praise. A try, please. I guess. I should be oh. oh. on chat with him. If this Gavon can do here, the end seems like a good place to start asking. As the what about all kinds of Oh, he wasn't suspicious at all. Time to take a oh, well, Gavon. You wouldn't have gotten this off without him. So we had them for that long. I don't remember it being that long, but... Oh, well. I'll believe you, I guess. The worst thing about Chance still, and I'm gonna keep pointing this out, the worst thing is the excuse they made for removing it as a feature. Just using the correct date for that. Nothing to see, I agree. Then 18 is still not a month, yeah. You just said date month year in that format. Right, I'm not crazy? Am I getting tired? Like, I'm pretty sure we really just typed it incorrectly. I mean, I know it's ISO standard or whatever the fuck it's called, but right. I would also uh, say writing the year first just seems dumb to me. And I know it's for searching up things when you're searching for files or whatever, but still. Oh, that way. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. That I could honestly get behind. That I would get behind. And also, we should really just have 13 months in a year instead of 12. While we're on this topic. Because <laughs> what is it? What is, what is the thing again? If we have 13 months a year, then there would be... Is it 24 days in a month, and every month would start on a Monday and end on a Sunday? And it would always be... January 1st would always be a Monday or something like that. Oh, 28 days. 28 days. Yeah. But like, that is how we should be doing it. Just uh, check collectibles here, because I didn't pay attention. We have all this. Yep. Yeah. Good on collectibles. Don't remember to buy the long leg lens here. And you're going to stand here and do nothing? 
lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. But of course that would never change because people have some holy dates and birth dates that people don't like to change. So we're stuck with this stupid Christian calendar forever. 13 is an evil number. Like people should just grow up. When I become dictator of the world, this is definitely a thing we're changing. <laughs> Out of the way. Do you have where a spaceboat? Sp mm. And we started red. Tribe will be the secret police of my dictatorship. <laughs> Second to last elevator ride up the run. And fun fact even though we, I think we used the elevator five times on the run. This is the only time we go down in the elevator. Because every other time we use the elevator to get to Meridian, we leave through the other side. might still be alive and you're going to stand here and do tell me your mission will again Fuck you. Well, that's not a big time loss because we just talked to the guy. That's... But still... Wow, we, it's just impossible to do this run without a crash. I don't know why. Is there some... Like, did, does the game just break when you don't fast travel? Because I'd never have this many crashes in my life. Back to back. For those who don't know, like, the every single run we have done, like, every single run we have done of, uh, of these no-fast-roll runs have had a crash in them. 
And crashes are not that common in Zero Dawn on console. Like, it's really not, trust me. But uh, that could potentially have killed a sub-9 attempt here. Well, there was no campfire to sa save out here. But uh, we spawned back here. So what was that? Probably a minute and 20 seconds? Exactly the amount of time we have left to save. Now we have to get gold if we want to get sub nine. So I feel like there might be something to playing this long or something. I don't know. Is this is also second time. Yesterday it also happened in Meridian Village. I don't know. Maybe there's something weird. Maybe it's something with it running on PS5. I don't know. Something is definitely strange. But whatever, that's I just unlucky. Getting sub 9 just either became impossible or very unlucky. I wonder what made these machines attack without warning. Whatever. Yeah, we lost two minutes. <sighs> that sucks. Sub-9 might still be possible, but now we have to get some gold splits. We need to go by 29 seconds, though. So let's not give up here, but fuck, that sucks. But yeah, I feel like there's something to do with me not fast rolling that is causing these crashes to happen. And I'm not an expert on programming, but if you guys are saying it's something to do with cleanup, then... I'll believe you. It's clearly something is different. Like, it didn't happen once in any of my Ultra Art speed runs. Or oh, Hundo Ultra Art runs, for example. They've set up an alarm. Don't want them to use it. Okay, alarm's down. Yes! the camp. Nice. Well, that's one go. It's a viola. Not on these splits. I made some changes to the splits so they are more accurate. So there's not that massive time save on the last split that there was before. Oh my 
your that too they that's smart The last vantage. <laughs> Gotta love the penguins. Just uh, make sure nobody tells Ari about uh, Linkus and his penguin emotes. Because I think he has the. Probably is the streamer that's most well known for his penguin emotes. <laughs> There's also a Finnish streamer, I'm not sure what it's called, but I've seen the emotes around Twitch that has like Pingu emotes. Which technically is a penguin. Just a certain character. Penguin. Contact. Machine, would we like to see be adapted to machine? Whoa! Well, you guys know my answer. I want to see a spider. I don't care how scared people are of them. I want to see a spider. The fact that we haven't gotten a spider machine yet is criminal. Probably because of the rampant ar arachnophobia that exists in the world. I want to see a. Uh, just to clarify, because I know some machines technically have some spider elements. I'll see if Hephaestus created a spider machine. As for other machines, I don't know, like a whale, shark would be cool in the ocean, octopus. In terms of like what could be in the water. Mm, as for land machines, I don't know. They've used a lot of good ones. A stegosaurus would be cool, like a giant ass stegosaurus. Believe it or not, the Spectres are actually based on a squid. I wanted to load my weapon. We got that cool Tomb Raider stabbing there. Or Tomb Raider inspired stabbing animation, so that's cool. Guess I can't complain about seeing that.
There's a clip somewhere. Gorilla shit. Oh, I think it was one of the gorilla employees that shared it. That shows like a squid moving in the same way that that the specters move, and that's what they base the specters movement on. There's a, apparently some sort of underwater squid that looks like it runs along the ground in the ocean. And that the way it runs look ex looks exactly like the specter, how specters are moving. So the best possible time is down below 9 again. Let's go. That's a really good sign. Let's keep this up. Let's keep bringing it at home. Must be close. My focus is receiving another signal. Um, not so. What? No. The re killing only. Where? There's the tall neck that my focus picked up. Oh, there it is. Let's see it. Uh, that's actually a pretty good spot. Still tall. Nice. Or, uh, no. Mm. Yeah, I think we can miss this jump on opportunity. Ah, crap. Yeah, we have to wait for him. Shit! No! To wait for him to go all the way over here. Sucks. Dang it. Not great for the sub nine. Want to get a sub nine, having to just stand here and wait for one tall neck. Uh, literally nothing I could do. The tall neck just wasn't in a good spot. All right. Now I just have to reach its head. Spawn behind me, you dumbass. Dang it.
Thank you. Where it? He's gone. Why is this beast going after Redmar alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmar alone out of pride. Even though he knew. This is really gonna come down to the wire, isn't it? Whether or not we'll get sub nine. Hopefully we haven't forgotten anything. But I have, feel I haven't done enough checks on the balances. We should be fine. Uh, I'm not sure where Swiss and Redmar went from. I can follow their tracks. Solana. Pick it up. By the sun. We did it. Hello. We made and about Oh, you're I no. I I should Here lies the sun after oh. Meet me. I am the witch shall understand.
really good stealth trial there. Don't be that. Is it then? It's he took him and it nothing. Yes, I I will. Not the prettiest fight, but way better than I've done in the previous runs. Probably because I didn't get stuck in the river this time, like I did, did the last couple of times. Right, let's get those two middle flowers and then back to Meridian. Thank <laughs> you. 
Aloy. Please, get up. Oh my god, just get the fuck up. I can wait. I scratch sure about it. I have punched. No, what about you? Chase by a Would you like to buy something today? So stupid. I've been all the best here. So stupid. If I can the drops of blood bleeding away. More blood. Now the still on the trail. Return to Meridian. Still more blood. The thief got trail ends here. Did sure use The thief came this way. There's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Did you? Yeah, I didn't. He not a damn. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. Shadow card. What? I guess. Uh, uh, you're right. The sh wait. You spent. Uh. Shadow items. Uh, so. I woke, I don't. Very good. And let's just double check here. Main quest. Red Bone of the Fallen. Errands are completed. Good. Is that Dilip House? Some stretch left, but it's looking good. Might lose a little bit of time on the Dervil split here, but that's. I'm gonna do Red Mon this split because it's a little bit more convenient. So, well, it's faster. I sent a messenger to the claim. I'm glad she wouldn't tell him. A lot only. If I'll run. I'll meet Aaron, take it. Ours. <clears throat> hey, look, when we. But now you were. Is it fine? I we will. And of course, gotta remember another fallen.
Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. Hawk Radovan Khan Kadish, cherished brother. By the soap. And Sunhawk Talavad Khan Kadish, beloved father. What you want? Yeah, I can get. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Look, thank. Uh, right, hold on. I will because what it was you perhaps <laughs> we would say or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Right. Let's get a too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Ah. Well, okay, let's check. 98. Yeah, we didn't forget anything. Let's go. Because the last two percent is the last That's two main quests. Of plays. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what they're Remembered Devon everything first. today. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. So now we just gotta finish the last two main quests. There's gotta be a way to stop it. Let's do it. Make sure there's no silliness here on the last couple of splits. Let's just do it cleanly as possible. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hide. This must be where Durval assembled. Durval did find a way into the palace. I could be there to see this. Weeping lantern! You can see them. They can't see you. Someone here. Die already. Hey, look, you would budge, damn it. <laughs> you, yeah, come on. Well, I know, you know what? Now, I'm trying to. I keep. Uh, no. Hey, look, and it's a vine. Well, I. It, it's by the. Uh, huh. By the. Hey, look, please. Heal with an. It's. It will. We. I'm trying. Perhaps. Yes. And have. No. I don't. Let me just double check. 9900. Yeah. We're good. We are good. Quiet I mean, Benuga's my favorite tribe, but if I had to live in a tribe. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Kaja and Otara uh, seems more comfortable, fun. if you know what I mean. So, otherwise. <laughs> Look at these two guys disappearing. Whoop. 
Living Meridian as a bitter club. The rumors were true. Owen's apartment feels empty. Alright. So finish this run, let's do it. Sleep. Did let's I get that sub nine. Finished? But first, up scoot shot. perhaps massing forces for the long march to the city gates that's not wood smoke and what is it <gasps> the end or how it begins anyway let's not mess up anything here at the end let's just play it play cool play it safe but still fast of course Appreciate it. <laughs> really appreciate the it. Yes. You spoke of. To the guns. To the guns. Now. By the sun, do what she says. Set loaded. All of you, be ready to fire. Will the guns hold them back? Just always looks hilarious. Don't blink or you miss it.
One more split. Let's do it. Come on now. Finally. Aloy. 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 One more fight to go. By all mother you survive. Let's not do any I dumb restart from save or something here. <laughs> the others. Are they No. No. Wounded, but alive mostly. The machines blasted through then kept going. They marched on the spire, uh, that After all the failed runs that we have had this week. Trying to get the successful one. And I'm really happy that it also turned out to be sudden. Or, unless I fuck up here. It'll take a lot to fuck up this game. Yeah, especially this final hour of gameplay, even though the game crashed and all that. Just stepped up, really focused on, got the goals we needed. Lost it. Start from saves. It's a benefit of not doing them. They must have gotten through the defenses. Vanguard. I have to get up there. Gotta keep going. Keep pushing. I knew this wouldn't be. Easy. So no holding back. Yeah, don't restart from save here. It's muscle memory to do it in all the other speedruns, but obviously not in this one. Right, let's finish it. Let's finally do it. couple of runs we finally did it uh, we still need to verify it after the cutscenes but I checked before we did it it was at 99% and frozen wilds was at 100 so we're good didn't forget anything but of course we'll make it official after the cutscenes but I always like to let these cutscenes play out at the end of a run because they feel very satisfying to watch but man ugh, three days in a row of hundo Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Ugh. I'm getting too old to do hundos back to back. <laughs> but there we go, 858. 12. 100% in Horizon Zero Dawn without any fast travel, restart from save, or intentional deaths. Did we die? Yes. There were some stupid deaths. That made this a lot closer than it ever should have been. But nonetheless, we got the run. <laughs> so 
Let's go. Yo, Jaywin, thank you so much for the 858 bits. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Whew. And Bioshock with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. It's way too kind. Really appreciate it. Ah, thank you, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this run. Well, this was just supposed to be a challenge run that I would maybe do one or two attempts of. But, uh... I don't know, I like a good challenge, and when I saw Sub-9 was possible, I knew I had to go for it. I just can't leave a challenge on the table like that. But here we are. <laughs> and who knows, in the future, when I have more time to plan out more strategies and a full run, we might do it again on Ultra Hot. But uh, for now, pretty satisfied with what we achieved here in the story. And for those wondering, a regular 100% story speedrun with fast traveling is about 7 hours and 25 minutes, I believe. In case you're wondering the difference. I believe my world record has 7.20 something loadless time, or with loads. It's below 7 hours if you remove load times, so just depends on how you want to compare it. Oh man. GG. God damn. I also got really nervous there doing the last stretch of the run because of, uh... Like, that crash really for When that crash happened right before we left, left uh, Meridian, I really... <laughs> that made me think, like, oh no, it's gonna fall apart here at the end again. But, uh... Right. But no, yeah, we clutched so, it up. Um, like I was saying... <laughs> And Capito, thanks for the 15 month reset. Really appreciate it. I will eventually do this on Ultra Hot, but uh, it will be. It will be, uh, it'll be sometime after Forbidden West and PC. <laughs> when we get back to Zero Dawn. After that. So we'll see. But uh, I will do this challenge again on Ultra Hot at some point. But that's gonna be a lot longer. A lot more hard and difficult, so. Yay. <laughs> Because there were nests in the pine tree. Query. And uh, Auntie, you know? thank you so much for the 3k bits. Goddamn. Sure? Thank you so much. Really appreciate I it. I remember yelling that I didn't care. And that's when my mother took my face. Thank you so much. And... Oh, Sarah, thanks for the two uh, gifted Query. subs. What did she say? Kind of you. She said and I thanks for uh, resubbing yourself she for seven said, months. Appreciate it. Elizabeth. By the way, uh, just a friendly reminder, I'm currently going for Twitch plot or Partner Plus, so please don't gift any subs. I appreciate the gifted subs, but long story short, please just don't give any, gift any subs at the moment. But uh, thank you nonetheless. I know that sounds confusing, but I can explain it here in a sec. But uh, thank you regardless. <laughs> Uh, did I order the new headset yet? Uh, no, I didn't get around to it. And, uh, I think I'm still gonna wait until the donation goal is filled up. I think yesterday I was just complaining more about the headset because I was really annoyed with how that run ended yesterday. So, I probably took a lot of the blame out on this stupid headset, but whatever. So yeah, I'll just wait for the donation goal to complete before I order a new one. Just a little bit. Um, I can live with this for now. Uh, but thanks for all the GGs as well, guys. You guys are awesome, so thank you. And zero thanks for 500 bits. So yeah, I know you probably didn't know zero, so don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, I'll explain the partner plus thing in a bit. But uh, thank you for the bits, anyway, really appreciate it. It's very kind. Know, because I know the Partner Plus thing is a little confusing, but I'll explain it here once we verify that it's 100%. And Greedy with 500 bits, thank you so much. It's very kind and generous of you. And have a good night's sleep, Seth. Take care, man. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Very kind and generous. Alright, let's skip the credits here and uh, end our credit cutscene. And uh, let's quickly verify that we did indeed get 100%. Obviously I checked before the run, or before we finished, as you saw, multiple times, just to make sure. But, um... So, uh... But, of course, 
officially in any 100% speedrun for Zero Dawn, you gotta verify that you did it after the run, so... Just to make it completely official, let's have a look here. So let's open up the menu, go to Notebook, 100% on the main game, and 100% on the Frozen Wilds. GG, it's official. Let's go. GG. Oh, man. Wow. Another challenge done. <laughs> so thank you for that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these runs. It was a lot of fun, this challenge, doing the game without any fast traveling. Because you get to do a lot of strats you don't normally do. Lots of interesting stuff. And, uh... Yeah, still a little annoyed that it took me six attempts to get a sub-9 run. But, uh... Regardless, we got it now. And we can uh, move on to other things. Another achievement is in the books. So, uh... Yeah, let's celebrate it. And, uh... Yeah. Forbidden West on PC is moving ever closer. And I still got a list of things I want to do in Zero Dawn and Ghost of Shima before then. Uh, but this was another thing we could take off. So, uh, yeah. GG's.